cut me? <laughs> That's when you you know if you feel blood, you see blood, you're gonna you're gonna <laughs> almost pass out. Look at his teammates kind of laughing yeah. at him. So well, I said that's what you get for getting in there with the oh. seven footers. Sabonis throws the body into Hauser, drives through him, and scores off the glass. That this, was disturbingly easy. Yeah, just extended that arm of his went right into the body. Nine point six rebounds for Sabonis now, 57-52. Well, I mean, that double double is coming. That's automatic. Look, Sabonis is uh, Horford catch and shoot left side three is good. I, I'm really surprised. Of course, Zingas is coming back in this game. Something weird happened where Porzingis didn't start. Could have been. He's played the first 90 seconds of the third quarter. Sabonis against Horford. Gets to the mid block, fumbles the basketball. Tatum comes up with it. Might have been Pritchard reaching in. Tatum bounce pass and then trying to get it back. Hauser lobbed it towards him, but it was deflected away. Now they're arguing. It's said, funny because it hit the no, backboard. Said, what he's trying to say, Tatum touched the basketball. They won a challenge. This is weird because the ball didn't seem to go out of bounds. It looked like it hit the backboard, but they blew the whistle. So they're giving it to the Celtics on the side out of bounds. Boston by eight here early in the third. Porzingis is back in the game. Bounce entry, Tatum. Bumped by Fox. Fox trying to knock him off the spot. Reaches in, punches the ball away out of bounds. I mean, there is no question they're calling a game differently than they did before the All-Star break. There's no argument here. You ask them about that, and they'll say no. Holiday turning on Ellis, fading on the baseline. Really tough shot is good at the shot clock buzzer. Shot clock was <laughs> almost out. That time milked every second. Lead in the left corner. Barnes missed the three. Hauser steps in front of Ellis, has the rebound. Celtics by 10 on the ball. Diagonal lead for Tatum. Tatum isolated with Murray. Throws the left shoulder into him. Backs him down to the mid block. Tatum turns. Kicks out of the last second to Porzingis. Holiday touches into the corner. Hauser run off the three point line. Bounce pass to Horford. Out of the loan of the paint. Celtics swinging around the perimeter. They run Hauser off the three point line and they felt really good about the defense so they forgot Horford all alone in the middle. And Mike Brown calls timeout. And, and that fast, Celtics come right back and dot your eyes after knocking down just a few shots to get themselves open. Seven straight for the Celtics lead is double figures again. 9.34 to go third quarter. Boston 64, Sacramento 52 on the Ben MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics radio network. Brian Geltziler and Sam Mitchell bring you the best NBA analysis you need. Holy Wembayama. He looked like the guy we figured he would be when he entered this league. I was so impressed watching him in a tight game with important possessions and have him be totally comfortable with everything running through him. Become a smarter NBA fan when you listen to NBA Weekend every Saturday, 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern on NBA Radio Channel 86 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Sirius XM's 2024 NFL Draft Preview Show. Experts from NFL Radio, College Sports Radio, and Fantasy Sports Radio analyze the top prospects in the NFL Draft, covering each player's time in college and how they'll transition to the National Football League. Romatute! Touchdown, Washington! The Sirius XM Sports 2024 NFL Draft Preview Show, Wednesday night at 7 Eastern on College Sports Radio Channel 84 and NFL Radio Channel 88. Tonight on Sirius XM Sports. The women's final four is on college sports radio. Two of the biggest stars in the game oppose each other as Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes match up with Paige Beckers and the Yukon Huskies. That follows the matchup between the NC State Wolfpack and South Carolina Gamecocks on Sirius XM 84 and the Sirius XM app. Sirius XM Sports. Wherever you are, your team plays here. Amin El Hassan and Zach Harper bring you Inside the Front Office on NBA Insiders. Talking to Keith Pompey, the Philadelphia Inquirer. To me, it crossed my mind that if this wasn't the Olympic year and the Sixers were playing the way they were, would Joel just shut it down? Some people say that might be the smart thing to do. Join NBA Insiders in the Executive Suite every Sunday, 10 to 1 p.m. Eastern on NBA Radio Channel 86 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Celtics by 12, 
With 9.34 to go in the third quarter, Max's keys to the game. Brought to you by your local New England Honda dealer. Adventure more, worry less with a certified pre-owned Honda. And Honda back benefits. Learn more at NewEnglandHondaDealers.com. When you talk about keys to the game, I thought it was, first of all, keeping offensive rebounds away. But looks like it's now stopping or trying to contain the Aaron Fox. Fox against Porzingis deep on the left side. Goes cross-court. Barnes, three is no good. Holiday late to get their offensive rebound by Murray. Tapped all the way back to Fox. This is the fifth offensive rebound for the Kings, despite the fact they missed 33 shots. Fox driving on. Hauser gets to the dotted line. Squares. Tough shot. No good. Porzingis snatches this rebound away from Subonis. Good job by Porzingis getting up in the air then. Tatum up the right side of the floor. Lines up Barnes and throws the entry to Porzingis nice. against Fox. Rises into the jumper. It circles the rim. It's no good, but he got fouled. And Porzingis will get free throws. Identify. Mismatches. Execute. Get the ball to the right guy in the right area. Timing was good. Turned around with the basketball. Mouse in the house. This time gets hit on the wrist. That's execution. First foul on De'Aaron Fox. And finding the mismatch has never been easier when Porzingis has been guarded by smaller players for the most part this year. Well, I mean, sometimes, you know, early in the year, that's what you and I were talking about. And I kept telling you, I said, they're missing. Yeah. Many opportunities right now with Porzingis, but coaching staff identified it. Didn't listen to me, oh. but identified it and did what they needed to do. How many guys have played with a guy like Porzingis? You know, it takes a while to figure that out. Porzingis gets shouldn't, but apparently it does. <laughs> you play basketball, that shouldn't be difficult. Who's the tall guy? Porzingis gets the free throws, and the Celtics on a 9-0 run have the lead back to 14. Ooh. Mitchell steps through on Holiday, throws it at the rim, no good. Rebound, that looked like it might have gone out of bounds off Sabonis. Porzingis certainly thought so. And the question is, is it worth challenging here for possession? Joe Mazzullo is looking back at the bench. They're going to challenge. Now, remember, the Celtics, have heard, this is the last one they get, whether they win or lose. Porzingis, they used one earlier. Porzingis was convinced. He looked over at the coach and said no. And then the coach finally looked back. Let me say, Porzingis, yep, that is. Porzingis got that one right. Because that would clearly went off of Sabonis' fingertips. So Celtics are going to not have a challenge the rest of the way. They may get the ball back here. Pacers trying to move out of the Celtics sites in the first round and get into that sixth position. They have a half game lead on Miami, a one game lead on Philadelphia. That's the team to watch in the race for six, trying to avoid. One of these three teams, Indiana, Miami, Philadelphia, going to avoid the play-in tournament. Indiana has an 11-point lead on Oklahoma City as they go to the fourth quarter tonight at the Fieldhouse. 100-89. to 89. The Thunder begin the night. Now they're in third in the East after losing the back-to-back -back games in Philadelphia and here in Boston Tuesday and Wednesday. Minnesota back in front of the Eastern Conference. Remember we talked about back in front of the Western call. Conference, huh? Successful. It is Boston's ball. Yep, successful challenge. Mandatory, so, they do not get that time out back. so Celtics have used up the challenges, but they'll get the ball here. We joked in October before the season started about that computer simulation that had Boston and Minnesota meeting in the NBA Finals, and everybody kind of laughed at it. And here we are on the 5th of April. Who's laughing now? And the Celtics lead the East, and Minnesota still leads the West. Who's laughing now? And they're doing it with Carl Anthony Towns on the side. Do you know what that scares you about? It makes you scared? Computer simulation. Taking over the world, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, hey, listen, how are you a computer? Did you know that? As soon as they get AI to be able to react to a game and call it in real time, we're done. Like, it's over. By the end, I'm gone anyway. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll be just in time. I may be, you know, Adios. I'll be going Adios. outside high school gyms. Yeah. Hey, we'll do play-by-play yeah. -play yeah. for food. Yeah, high school, I think should be how by the end. Hoping that time doesn't that come that quick, but you never know the way things, you know, are, are going so quick in, in time. I mean, those three years of COVID, they went by like that. John Miller, the great Giants Hall of Fame found announcer, his 50th year beginning today. Bob Euchre still doing the Brewers turn 90. Wow. I know you Let's be in the front row. Two for two tonight for Joe Mazzulla. Celtics coaching staff. It's really Matt Reynolds, not so much Joe Mazzulla. 40 and 17 now on coaches' challenges, winning both tonight. Celtics trying to add to a 9 0 run here with 8.50 to go in the third quarter. 
And he clearly ran off Sabonis, as we called it. Celtics will get it. It's in the hands of Drew Holiday. Holiday up to the left side of the floor. Handoff Tatum. Davion Mitchell in front of him. Tatum slides to his right. Sabonis in front of him now. Horford clears away, so the spacing is good. Bounce pass for Porzingis. He fumbles it. He's got it back, though, at the elbow. Pump fake. Finds the cutter. Hauser just threw it at him. Hauser falling away on the baseline. Throws it up at the rim. No good. Not a good offensive possession. Not smooth. Sabonis has the rebound as he closes in on that double-double. Davion Mitchell. Deep on the right side. Pulls the ball in. Goes left side. Fox now in the corner. Up faking is Murray. Drives baseline. Falls away oh, on Porzingis. No Tough shot. No good. Never saw the rim. Good. Tough rebound by Hauser. Good job by Hauser. Maybe not shooting it well tonight, but man, still getting in there doing some damage on the glass. Hauser one for ten. It's going to take him out of any chance he had of breaking the Celtics record for three-point percentage. Uh -oh. He lines one up here, and it bounces short. Offensive rebound, Porzingis. He threw it out to the wing. Nobody was there. He was falling out of bounds. He had no choice. How about Sam? How, what are the odds of Sam Hauser missing ten of eleven shots? I wonder when the last time that happened was. First grade. Maybe kindergarten. Probably on a nerf hoop. It's a bonus. Deep on the left side, hand off to Aaron Fox, turns to the elbow, throws a bounce pass out towards Keegan Murray, steps into that three and misses it off the back iron. He has been off tonight. Rebound deflected out of bounds by Porzingis. Kings will get it back. Murray is two for seven from three. Harrison Barnes having a rough trip to the east here. Did not score last night, and he's two for eight tonight. So reliable as a jump shooter. What's missing here for the Kings? Shooting. Who are they missing? Monk and Herter. Driving. Fox catches the under out of bounds. Good pass from Davion Mitchell. And he scores off the window. Fox has his first points of the second half. 23 for the game. Boston by 12. 7.24 to go in the third. Holiday taking Mitchell with him. In deep. Sabonis waiting. Holiday tiptoes the baseline. Kick to the corner. Al lines up the three. It's short. And the rebound belongs to Sacramento. Mitchell deflects it to Sabonis. They're going to give that rebound to Sabonis, so that's eight now, along with nine points. Barnes the entry to Sabonis, double team, steps through it. Push pass out to a wide open Davion Mitchell. His three is no good, and the rebound belongs to Barnes. Kick out Murray, now Sabonis attacks the paint, finds the open man in the corner. Plenty of time for Mitchell, he lines up a three and knocks it down. What an awkward looking shot. Almost brings it up from his knees. It takes him a long time to get that shot off, too, which has been the problem. And lost his minutes to Keon Ellis, but he's got him back here in the second half tonight. Good, nice to get Tatum involved in this game. Tatum, right-hand dribble coming strong. Gets to the paint, reverses it up. No good. Nice and Sabonis has his 10th rebound, or his 8th rebound. Yeah, they took that last one away from him. Fox goes the distance, misses the left-hand layup. Tatum and Fox both miss layup. Celtics by 9. Whoa. Horford alone, so he shoots the 3. It's no good. It's getting a little bit ragged here. There's okay. rebound number 9 for Sabonis. Sabonis attacking Horford, steps through him and scores off the glass. Five straight, four, seven straight for the Kings here. They've cut the 14-point lead in half, 66-59. Choppy game here. Holiday for Porzingis in the corner. They enter back to Porzingis against Barnes. Left-hand dribble to the elbow, rises, 12-foot jumper, flat no good, and Fox will grab the rebound. Porzingis is cooled off. Fox. Into the offensive end. Moves it to Murray. Murray right-hand dribble drive. Bumped by Hauser. He goes over the shoulder of Sabonis, who up fakes on Porzingis. Throws his right shoulder into him. Paint, paint take it away, so a kick out to Fox for three. And the lead is down to four again. Second time the Kings have cut a double-digit deficit down to four. 66-62. This time they've done it with 10 in a row, but again, Tatum pops free. Sneaking in behind... Keegan Murray, and he flushes with the right hand. Able to get to that baseline. Nobody was home. Tatum's got 10, just 4 of 11. Fox moves into the corner. Open again. Mitchell, 3, bounces out, and Porzingis snatches down the rebound his ninth. Light Celtics up. plus 3 on the glass. Holiday dribbles behind his back. Takes one step in, and then gets it back from Hauser as they reset the offense. Tatum on the perimeter against Mitchell. Porzingis sets the screen. Tatum slowly to his right. Sabonis comes out to challenge with eight on the shot clock. Tatum switches to the right hand, drives through him, and Mitchell forces up a shot. No good, but it did draw the foul, and Tatum will go to the line. Well, he had to squeeze to a very small gap then. Sabonis put the body on him this time. Got between the two defenders. Hit him with the body as he's trying to go up. Yes, he goes to the line. We'll take 10 seconds for station identification on the BetMGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics radio network.
Hey, this is Brian Geltziler. Wake up early with me in 2007 NBA Coach of the Year, Sam Mitchell, every Saturday morning from 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern as we break down everything NBA on Channel 86. Grandian Max, year 23. Celtics closing out the regular season a week from Sunday, nine days left, five games after tonight. Sunday against the Blazers on the Western Conference portion of the schedule. And the Celtics will play their final road game in Milwaukee on Tuesday and then a three-game homestand against New York, Charlotte, and Washington next weekend to end it and then a week off until the playoffs. Tatum makes the free throw, 70-62, to 62, Boston by eight. Tatum's got 12. Is he going to get to 2,000 points again? That's the question. He's at 1,942 now. Mitchell drives on Holiday, lays it up at the side of the backboard, rebounds a bonus, kick out Lyles for three. Talk about second chance opportunities, but and then all of a sudden the switch, the Aaron Fox, and now you give him up a few. 60th consecutive double double for Sabonis. Holiday oh. finds Porzingis, who steps in behind Mitchell, throws it down hard with the right hand. That was nasty. He's had a couple of big time dunks in this one. 16 points, nine rebounds for Porzingis. 11 and 10 is the latest double double for Sabonis. Boston by seven, 4-12 to go in the third. Maybe on Mitchell. Moves it on the wing to Keegan Murray. Return bounce pass for Mitchell against Tatum. Now Sabonis, 18 feet away, up fakes on Porzingis, puts it to the floor, steps through him, loses balance. His pass deflected by Holiday, out of bounds. Kings will keep it with 4.6 to shoot. Stumbling all the way into the body of, some, of Porzingis, Dan. Couldn't get that off. Wasn't able to see the rim. Under out of bounds, deflected, but it gets to Sabonis, who steps into the paint. Finger roll, no good. They'll call the late foul on Hauser. Can't challenge. Can't challenges are done here. Joe Mazzula really unhappy with the call. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a great call. Wow. I'm not sure. It, was, it wasn't enough for an offensive foul on Sabonis, but that was probably a no call. But the Celtics can't challenge. And Joe Mazzulla is really not happy because Hauser played the kind of defense he wants him to play. And Sabonis is rewarded with free throws just the sixth and seventh of the night for the Kings, first of which is good. If you never got a chance to see his dad play, talk about being ahead of your time and EuroLeague, great EuroLeague players. By the time he took him a long time to get to be able to play in the NBA, but when he did. This is water. Yeah. And, and this is vodka. Then. <laughs> that man could put down some vodka. 72-67. Kings back within five. Stoley. 348 to go in a third. Tatum pull up three on the right side. No good. Back iron offensive rebound in and out of the hands of Porzingis. And Davion Mitchell's got it. Tatum has missed all five of his threes. Sam Hauser is one for nine. Go figure. Porzingis is two for two on threes. He and Pritchard five of seven. Tricky dribble by Mitchell, and he is met at the rim, blocked out of bounds by Holiday. Kings keep it with 10 to shoot. Holiday's makeup speed is crazy. The way he's able to get over and just challenge. How many times have the opponent made more threes than the Celtics? Sacramento's made 12, Boston's made nine. But it's the Celtics are lead by five here with 3.28 to go in a third. Sabonis starts his drive. Oh, just to kick out to Lyles. Tatum slides his feet. Took the left hand away from Lyles. They enter Sabonis and another late foul with .1 on the shot clock. Called on Porzingis. Good job. Uh, and then that was an excellent little pump face. And he got Porzingis up in the air. Went right into the body. No, people. No, you cannot challenge. The challenges are over. So Sabonis back at the free throw line, trying to make it a one possession game, which he won't do because he misses the first. Ball on line, Rashid Wallace. Uh, Orlando in some trouble at Charlotte tonight, down by 14. They're not closing any distance. Brandon Miller, 28 points on 10 of 11 shooting in that game. Magic trying to hold off the Knicks for home court. Sabonis misses both. And Porzingis gets the rebound. Go figure. I tell you, this is a, a major problem for the Kings. They just don't have a good free throw shooter on the roster. Entry. Tatum catches. Spins. Misses the layup, but he got hit and fouled. And Tatum will go to the line here with Boston up by five and 3.07 to go in the third. And I love 
Kevin Hardy's home. He has that commercial he does, and he said, you're at home, and you're at, like, you can stop the guy from making the free throw. Miss, fool, miss, miss. He's sitting in your bed. Come on. Miami up by five at Houston at halftime. The Heat have really struggled late. They did not look good last night as Tatum misses the first free throw and that home loss to Philadelphia. And I get that everyone here is scared to death of Miami, but it's only because you're not watching Miami play. Tatum gets the second. 73-67, Boston by six. 3.05 to go in the third. Very strange start to this game. Celtics had three points on the board. Five and a half minutes into the game, then exploded, built a 16-point lead, but the Kings have climbed back in on the three-point shooting and led by De'Aaron Fox. Kessler Edwards missed the three, and the rebound belongs to Tatum. Tatum into the front court, long cross court to Pritchard, into the corner, Hauser up fakes, drives in the baseline, throws back out to Pritchard, left wing three, short, and the rebound for Edwards. One of the recipes for beating the Celtics, you have to hold him to a bad night from three, Sabonis drives right around Ooh. Porzingis, gets to the rim and misses the open layup. Go figure, Holiday for Hauser, left side, three in the air, that is no good, Hauser missing shots tonight, he hits in his sleep, he is one for 12. And the three the other way from Lyles is also short. Tatum pounces on the rebound. Outlet, Porzingis ahead of the field gets fouled. Fox got there just in time to commit a smart foul. And Porzingis runs halfway up the ramp, and the fans love the hustle. Doesn't you know this is the Kevin Garnett zone over here? Yeah. And he comes over and he just smiles at the fans as he almost goes into the stanchion. Slaps himself on the chest. He, is, he has you. loved every minute of this experience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know you had love being with the Knicks. Everything else after that was a blur. Because he makes the first of two free throws. Yeah, this time funny. he gets here and it just, whew. You mentioned it, Max, but last year the Celtics, you know, were very, very good, particularly late in the year. But they went down to Washington and meeting this game for the Wizards late in the year. And Porzingis just tore them apart. Celtics got blown out late last year at Washington. And little did we know, we were watching a future Celtic. 75-67, Porzingis with the free throws, pushes the Boston lead back to eight with 2.15 to go in the third. Fox walking the dog for some reason. As in the front court now, Tatum challenges. Fox puts it to the floor, Tatum slides his feet. Fox pull up, nowhere to go, gets it back from Lyles. Now he's got Porzingis on it. Fox over the shoulder, Mitchell moves into the corner. Veznikov cold in the first half, not here, knocks down the three. 75-70, Veznikov missed all three of his shots in seven minutes in the first half. 75-70, Kings now 13 of 40 from three. Celtics nine of 32, Tatum enters to Porzingis, he has triple team. The open man is Pritchard, Holiday finds him and it's three. That dog is locked and loaded, ready to go. 14 from Pritchard on eight shots, 78-70. Boston with the lead, minute 31 to go in the third. Aaron Fox over the shoulder pass, Vesnikov bounce pass in the corner, Lyles puts to the floor, attacks Porzingis, hands off at the last second, <laughs> getting gobbled up with Kessler Edwards by Porzingis. Tatum into the front court, they are ball hawking, so he gets rid of it at the last second of Holiday, return to Tatum on the wing, isolated with Davion Mitchell. Shot clock at 12. Tatum with a hand in his face, starts his drive, dribbles behind his back, lost it, has it back, shot clock at eight. Muscles through the double team and gets fouled. He was... Kings over the limit. He was hell-bent to get that shot off. And there were guys open on the left-hand side then, sometimes a little bit more simple, but if you're a real scorer, if you have opportunities to get yourself going, that was one there. King started this game from three as Tatum misses the first free throw, hoping to yell it over the rim, didn't have enough on it. Sacramento, after a two for 17 start from three, 11 of 13 from distance, 11 of 23 from distance. Tatum gets one of two. Again, Boston lead is nine, 79 70. 103 to go in the third. Deion Ellis get another chance here from Mike Brown back in the game. He started, got replaced by Davion Edwards early in this quarter. Entering in the paint, Edwards doesn't look at the rim. Instead throws out to Ellis. Cross guard pass deflected clean. Steal Pritchard. That was impressive. 
Pritchard, shovel pass for Hauser, thought about the three, puts it back in his pocket, drives and laps to Porzingis for the two-hand slam. Good stuff. Shots not going, do other things. Five rebounds, three assists for Sam Hauser tonight. What do they call them, delay of game on the Celtics? I think Porzingis just dunked it. Ooh. Boston by 11. Two for one here for the Kings. 20 and 11 for Porzingis. Got a block, maybe two as well. Lyles, right hand dribble. In deep on the baseline, bounce pass into the corner, rising for a three that is no good. And the rebound belongs to Fox. Fox attacks and lays it in with the left hand off the glass. Fox with that quickness, man. He gets that first step on you, he is gone. 28 for the Aaron Fox. Sabonis has 13. Nobody else has more than seven for the Kings, which is what happens when you don't have Monk or Herter. Boston by nine. Shot clock is off. Ten seconds to go in a third. Pritchard dribbling with his right hand across half court. Fox right on his shoulder. Down to five seconds to go. It's going to be Tatum. Tatum pull up on Edwards. Three in the air. Got it. Oh, no, no. Banked it in. Come on. How disheartening is that? Lyles bricks a half court three wide left of everything, and that'll do it for the third quarter. Kings got it to five, but a 9-2 to two close to the third quarter for the Celtics. Closing in on win number 61. They led by 12 at the end of one. By four at halftime, they're up by 12 as we make the turn for home. End of three at the Garden. Boston 84, Sacramento 72 on the Mid MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. College Hoops fans, it's tournament time. The thrill and excitement of March Mania is here, and you can get in on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, one of America's top-rated sportsbook apps. New customers bet on any college basketball national tournament game and turn 5 bucks into $150 instantly in bonus bets. That's right. To celebrate college basketball's most frenzied time of the year, DraftKings is giving new customers a shot to rack up some bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code Sports Hub. New customers can bet 5 bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets only with DraftKings Sportsbook with code Sports Hub. The crown is yours. Hope is here. 800-327-5050 or gambling helpline ma.org. Must be 21 plus. Play it smart from the start. GameSenseMe.com. Physically present in Massachusetts. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash bball. From the electricity in the arena to the highlight reel plays, there's nothing quite like Celtics basketball. And this season, you can be there live to cheer them on. As the official marketplace of the NBA, Ticketmaster has you covered with the largest selection of seats for any budget. Get off the couch and into the stands. Grab your tickets now at Ticketmaster.com slash Celtics. Grocery shopping is easier than ever before with Shaw's and Star Market free curbside pickup or delivery. That's right. Just order ahead and Shaw's and Star Market will have your groceries ready for you curbside. Or they can deliver it right to your door. You can order anytime and pick up until 8 p.m. And you don't even need to get out of your car. Their professional shoppers offer personalized, friendly service and select your order just like you picked it. Shaw's and Star Market, perfecting the art of fresh. Do you know a youth sports coach that has had a positive impact on their community? Nominate them now at clintonsavings.com to enter them to win a $500 Dick Sporting Goods gift card to help support their home team. For complete rules, visit clintonsavings.com. Member FDIC, member DIF, NMLS number 422081. Well, it's been a tug of war tonight. Celtics really struggled to get going offensively then they built a 16 point lead kings got it to four celtics pushed it back to 14. kings got it to four celtics are up by 12 and have the ball to begin the fourth quarter playing with pritchard mihailuk tillman cornett and jason tatum tatum played big minutes tonight he's hit 31 already starting the fourth quarter mihailuk for tatum right side here's the entry cornett underneath puts it off the glass and in they were late to get there cornett has feasted tonight right. and luke has done Exactly what you should do. Just play to his strength. Lay up, lay up, lay up. Mitchell gets in behind Mihailik, but he couldn't handle the bounce entry. He fumbles it. Cornette rips it away. Pritchard leads for Tatum. He led him too far. Tatum tried to put it off the glass. He missed it, but an offensive rebound. Another one for Pritchard. Throws out to Tatum, and the Celtics will reset it, looking for their largest lead on this possession. Tatum against De'Aaron Fox. There's the money matchup. Right side of the floor. Two dribbles to the left hand. Tatum spinning, fading, top of the circle. No good. And the rebound for the Kings. Well, Tatum is down, so is Fox. The four on four. 
as Mitchell leads it into the left corner. Mesnikoff three is no good. Offensive rebound, easy put back in the weak side. Nobody got to Keegan Murray. Every time you say the Southern can get their biggest lead, Second, goes sec to the back. second chance points, 18 to 5. Kings have gotten those on just seven offensive rebounds, 18 second chance points. Entry, Tillman, double teamed in the paint, kick out deflected by Vesnikov, but saved by Pritchard. Pritchard dribbles to the left elbow, and his jumper is true. That, that boy is on something. I don't know where he is, but he is. His gear is crazy. Fox pull up jumper is no good. Long rebound, though, going to come to Mitchell. Another offensive rebound here for the Kings. They have converted pretty much all of these opportunities. Down by 14, Mitchell throws out to Vesnikov. Left face on Cornet, drives into the paint, makes the extra pass underneath. Waiting there is Lyles, taken away by Cornet. So he kicks to the corner. Three is no good at the shot clock buzzer. And Keegan Murray and good. Tatum will control the rebound. Take the air out of it just a little bit. Hauser can't make a shot tonight. Tatum is 5 of 15, and the Celtics have a big lead as Cornette kicks out to Pritchard. Three is no good. Long rebound. Mahalik deflects it towards Tatum, but the loose ball will eventually belong to Davion Mitchell. Lead for the Aaron Fox. Moves it to Keegan Murray. Open right side. Three no good. Rebound deflects hard off the ground. Who's going to get it? Keegan Murray will. Steps away from Mahalik and hits the short jumper. Two more second chance points. Well, the reaction time with these second chance opportunities saw that have been really slow. That basketball bounced at least three times before a Celtic player even tried to get to it. I got the Kings with eight offensive rebounds in the second half. There's still 9.32 left. Here's the answer to Cornette. Tillman all alone, left corner, three in the air. No good, it's flat rebound. Mahaila climbs over two guys and just punches it like Karch Karai off the rim and in. Wow. Nobody put a body on it. Like guys are starting to get tired. And the second day of second night of back to backs, this is really when it affects teams in that fourth quarter. Take that a second chance points. 9.24 to go. Boston 90, Sacramento 76 on the Bet MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. Your basketball talk with the passion you deserve on NBA Today with Justin Termini and Eddie Johnson. According to Vegas, Eddie. The Clippers have the second best odds of getting out of the West. What should we believe? Should we believe Vegas, Eddie? Or should we believe basically what we've been watching with our own eyes? Maybe they can get that second win back and turn it around. They just look like they're dragging. NBA Today, weekdays from 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern. Only on Sirius XM NBA Radio Channel 86 and the all-new Sirius XM app. The best amateur players in women's golf will compete in the Augusta National Women's Amateur. Rose Zhang is your Augusta National Women's Amateur Champion. Sirius XM is your exclusive home for this premier event in the world of golf. Coming into the event, I knew that this wasn't going to be an easy fight. Hear the Augusta National Women's Amateur tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern on PGA Tour Radio Channel 92 and NBC Sports Audio Channel 85. And then on Monday, Masters Radio returns on Channel 92 in the car and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Comedy Central Radio brings you the biggest names in comedy. All day long, you'll hear the best stand-up comedy from Comedy Central's massive library. If you ever ask an adult what they did over the weekend and they say they didn't do anything, their faces light up. Every weeknight, you'll hear two half hours of comedy for your drive home. The other day, I got jealous of a dog's thigh gap. I'm not proud of that. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Your home for incredible stand-up comedy. Search comedy on the all-new Sirius XM app. The biggest names in the NBA all stop by the starting lineup. The legend had a storm. By the way, I'm super excited to be on your show. I listen to you guys all the time. So be honest. You think Frank on this show is exactly how he is in real life? Because a lot of people ask me that question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell them that. I say that's exactly how he is. It's not a bit. Hear more great guests on the starting lineup every weekday morning from 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern on Sirius XM NBA Radio, Channel 86 in the car, and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Celtic fans can score five cents off per gallon with GoPay. Download the GoPay app today for the fast and convenient way to pay the pump. Go proud to be the official fuel partner of the Boston Celtics, who are hoping they have enough fuel in the tank to close out their 61st win of the year. They're up by 14 with 9.24 to go, 90-76. to 76. The Aaron Fox has kept the Kings afloat, but there's only one guy. Sabonis has another double-double, 13-11, and 11, but... Oh, without Monk and Herter. Meanwhile, uh -huh. Jordan Walsh going to get some significant minutes here with the game still up in the air. Jordan Walsh and the main Celtics got to the conference finals last night. 
Drew Peterson is here as well. He's active on the roster tonight. Keegan Murray, baseline extended against Peyton Pritchard. Murray, left-hand dribble, step back, tough jumper over Pritchard is no good. Rebound, Celtics get it. Luke Cordette, now they can start running some clock here as we hit nine minutes remaining. Pritchard switches to the right hand, and ball punched away from him out of bounds by Keegan Murray. Celtics will keep it with 18 to shoot. Celtics and the Blazers here on Sunday. Portland and Washington tonight and for two teams going, as Bob Cousy liked to say, absolutely nowhere. Nope. Portland leading out 105-102. DeAndre Ayton having a big night for the Blazers. Pritchard, deep on the right side. Mitchell on him, starts to drive in the baseline. Shut off, throws it all the way out to the high look. Shot clock down to five. Cornette puts it to the floor. Gonna have to shoot as he drives. Floats it with the left hand, bounces out. Scramble for the rebound. Jordan Walsh gonna get it. Fans love that. Kick out Tillman. Puts it to the floor, drives past the bonus. Draws the double team. Kick out Walsh, open for three. No good, back iron. And the rebound for Keegan Murray. Still looking for his first NBA three. That was his fifth try. Vesnikov inside the free throw line, flips it up with the left hand, awkwardly no good, offensive rebound, Sabonis floats a kick out out to the corner, Davion Mitchell, return to Sabonis, attacks Cornette, goes off the window too hard, no good, letting the physical play go, Celtics had the rebound, leading by 14, Pritchard for Tillman, slack driving left side, shut off, so back out it comes to Pritchard, eight minutes to go, with Boston up by 14. Pritchard dribbling in the logo, switches Ooh. to the left hand, oohs and eyes as he loses to bonus, knocks down the elbow jumper, and that dude. Got some, got some dog in him, man. What a year. What a year Peyton Pritchard has had. He's got 18 tonight. Vesnikov lobs it down low to Sabonis. Pump fake, can't step around Cornette, so he throws back out to Vesnikov for three. As soon as the Celtics got their largest lead again, Vesnikov cuts it to 13, 92-79. 7.24 to go. Pritchard racing right side. Vesnikov just threw his body in front of him and commits the foul. Pritchard is heads. He's just heads on. I mean, he is he is running. He's going to run right through a brick wall. Blazers, Blazers are going to win that game, so they'll be 21-56 and 56 when they get here on Sunday. 34-13 for Aiton tonight. Jabari Walker had 20-plus rebounds the other night. Bounce entry, great look from the high look, sending Tillman in for an easy two. That was a double pick then set, and finally Tillman able to get that ball and lay it in. Well, Alex made some plays tonight. Five points, two rebounds, an assist. Celtics by 15, Murray misses a three. Rebound Cornette, Celtics can take their largest lead here with 6.55 to go. They've been the best fourth quarter team in the league all year. Pritchard. Switches to the left hand, goes behind the Cornette screen, lobs it for Cornette at the mid block. Kick out, Pritchard, open three, got it. Timeout, Mike Brown as the Celtics take their largest lead as Peyton Pritchard has dropped 21 on him in 27 minutes. 6.42 to go at the Garden, Boston 97, Sacramento 79. On the Bet MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. Score more on your next NBA same game parlay with the King of Sportsbooks. Log into your Bet MGM account today to claim a same game parlay boost token. Simply place a same game parlay bet on any NBA matchup and get 25% more winnings and unrestricted funds if your wager hits. Turn up the heat at Bet MGM, the King of Sportsbooks, and an authorized gaming partner of the NBA. Hope is here. Call 1 800 327 5050 or visit gamblinghelplinema.org. Must be 21 plus. Massachusetts only. It's subject to eligibility requirements. Rewards are non withdrawable bonus bets that expire in seven days in partnership with MGM Springfield. The Honda you want is here. Now is the perfect time to drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 2.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Passport or Ridgeline and a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Pilot. See dealer for financing details. Need a new roof for your home or business? Choose East Coast Metal Roofing, official roofing partner of the Boston Celtics. Right now, during their Spring Into Savings promotion, Sports Hub listeners receive 10% off a complete roof installation and, if eligible, 0% financing. Their roofs are guaranteed for life, won't rust, and can be installed on any style home. Visit EastCoastMetalRoofing.com for your free estimate. East Coast Metal Roofing is built to last, just like the Boston Celtics. 
This month, treat yourself to the gift of quick, convenient vehicle maintenance. Valvoline Instant Oil Change will have your full service oil change complete in just about 15 minutes without you ever needing to leave your driver's seat. While you're comfortable, add additional services like a radiator flush, tire rotation, battery replacement, and so much more. Stop by whenever it's best for you because no appointment is ever needed. Visit NewEnglandOilChange.com for 15% off your entire service at Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Now open in Weymouth, Canton, Bedford, and and Natick. Sellout crowd at the Garden. Every one of these games now feels like sitting in on a little bit of history as the Celtics looking for their 61st win. Closing in on it now up by 18 with 6.42 to go. Attendance brought to you by Ticketmaster. Join the crowd of excitement at a future Celtics game by ordering your tickets at Ticketmaster.com. Four home games still remain. For the Celtics, their final game against the Western Conference team Sunday against Portland. And then the really fun one left is the New York game on Thursday. Back to back with Charlotte a week from tonight. And the Celtics will close out this historic regular season a week from Sunday. Early afternoon game against the Washington Wizards. The Aaron Fox left hand dribble goes by Jordan Walsh, gets to the mid block. Short jumper, no good. Scramble for the rebound. Out of bounds off of Sabonis. With Shea Brissett in there now. Jordan Walsh and Sam Hauser. Tatum is on the bench, and Joe Mazzulla would like to keep it that way. Just 17, I think just 17 for Tatum tonight, but going to leave him 53 points short of his third consecutive 2,000-point season with five games left, just a matter of how many games he played. Hauser for Pritchard, straightaway three. Rims out, rebound, Brissett attacks and gets fouled. And he has a chance to give the Celtics a 20-point lead for the 19th time in the last 23 games. Didn't see this the way the Sacramento was playing, especially Fox knocking down shots. So bonus start getting going, rebound the basketball. But you did mention something that could be a problem. If you are Sacramento and you can't shoot free throws, especially late in basketball games against teams like the Lakers and and, and, and very likely, Max, they're going to be in one-game situations yeah, here in this play-in turn. That makes it tough. The only good thing you have going for you, maybe if you're Sacramento, you can be have the home court advantage where they really play well. Light the light up. Brissett misses that second free throw, so no 20-point lead. 98-79, midway through the fourth. And the Kings still have most of their starters out there. Celtics do not. Harrison Barnes. They got to try to make a run here. There, as a follow-away shot, no good, but a foul call. Walsh fouls Barnes. And he'll go to the free throw line here with Sacramento down 17. Remember, the Kings, assuming they lose this game here, are going to be in a tie with the Lakers at 8-9 in the Western Conference. Kings are going to get Kings get that tiebreaker, but still five games left in the season. The Lakers, since Hachimura went into the starting lineup as Barnes gets the first free throw. They have been very good offensively. Defensively, not as much considering some of the games. I've seen 130, 120. I mean, some of the wins they've had been good offensive, but defensively, they've given up a lot of points. Missed free throw, rebound Hauser, so fans celebrate. Colby Jones. Xavier in the game for the first time for Sacramento. Mike Brown starts to empty the bench. We're at 98-80. Celtics looking for that 20-point lead here. Pritchard driving underneath the baseline. Throws to the corner. How about a Hauser three? No. And the Kings have the rebound on the weak side. Sam Hauser getting all those misses out tonight. One for 13. Crazy. Jones spinning on Pritchard. Flips it up and in with the right hand. This is the same Sam, Sam Hauser that went to Washington and couldn't miss from the three-point line. Hauser moves to Cornette. 505 to go. Hauser coming back door, catches and gets fouled. He's arguing for free throws. Let's see if he gets it here. I think they're going to give it to him. Mike Brown complaining over this. And, uh, nope, it's on the side. So the funny thing about this stat I've been keeping about getting 20-point leads for the Celtics looking for their 19th and 23 games, and they don't get it tonight. Their largest lead was 19. Same thing the other day, and here's a steal. Sabonis picks off Brissett, goes the distance, two-hand slam, five straight for the Kings, and it's down to a 14-point margin. There's still enough time here 
And the Kings keep the starters in the game, and the Celtics do not put theirs back in. 4.49 is a lot of time in the NBA with a 14-point lead. Pritchard switches to the left hand. He's double team ball knocked away by Fox out of bounds. Celtics keep it with seven to shoot. And the Celtics have sort of stopped here a little bit short of the finish line. Joe Mazzula wins gonna bring Tatum back in this game. Got a hole or under out of bounds. Did they call the foul? One with their They did, so yeah. the Kings are over the no, that's 14 fouls now. They had four on the board. We're well, trying to say he was going up in the air with that basketball. He won it three, but they didn't give it to him. No, 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 no. Wave. No, coming. Peyton Pritchard. Watched by De'Aaron Fox. Over the shoulder pass, Sam Hauser. Better put it to the floor, elevated 16 feet. Jumper's no good. Offensive rebound for set. Like a wild man just flying in to grab it away from Barnes. Kick out Hauser. How could Sam Hauser be one for 14? It doesn't seem possible. Pritchard turns the corner, attacks the paint, gets gobbled up, shot is swatted. Luke Cornett lets Hauser get to loose ball. He has to launch from half court. It's an air ball. It'll be another miss credited to Sam Hauser, and the Kings still alive here with 4.09 to go, down 14. Aaron Fox into the front court. Moving to his left, dribbling low against Cornette, forces it up, gets the bounce. You can forget that 20 point lead tonight. 7 0 run for Sacramento here. Playing for their lives. They've cut it from 19 to 12. 98 86 with 3.48 to go. 30 for the Aaron Fox. O'Shea Brissett for Luke Cornette. The noise you hear is the crowd amusing themselves by doing the wave, but this game is not over yet. Pritchard, stop and start, pulls up at the elbow, jumper comes up short, rebounds to bonus. Kings don't think it's a show, they think it's a fight. Zelda's may have to get starters back in here if they want to try to win the game. Extra pass to Sabonis. He's fouled by Cornett. Clock stops, and the Kings can make it a 10-point game with 3.26 to go. Whoever thought of that way, just like that just... I don't think the wave so much as the issue is that the lack of recognition that this game is very much in doubt because the Kings are have their starters on the floor. The Celtics don't. And well, after building a 19 point lead, Sabonis misses another free throw. Well, as you said, Sean, this is about entertaining themselves. Mm -hmm. It's like kids who have food to start playing with it. And, and by the way, if the Kings made their free throws tonight, this would be a different deal. They missed half of their 12 free throws. So bonus tonight, 15 points, 14 rebounds, six assists. Second free throw is good. And the Kings have run off eight straight. They are within 11 now with 3.23 to go. So this is trying to bleed the clock drive. Pritchard moves to Tillman. Left hand dribble, Tillman, stop and start. Spins into the paint, flips up with the right hand. That's gonna be short. Rebound for Jones. Here come the Kings, down by 11. Barnes against Walsh and away from the ball. Brissett got tangled up, I think, with Sabonis. Tatumson over there waiting. Holiday waiting. Joe Mazzullo is trying to give some of these guys opportunities to play in a real live game. You, cannot, you can't duplicate what you have in practice in a real live between the, or a real live game. All right, we hit three minutes remaining right Ooh. now. Here comes the Aaron Fox. Easily blows by Tillman. Scores in the left hand. Joe Mazzulla has to call the timeout. Kings are playing for their playoff lives and their seeding, and the Celtics just threw in the third unit with the lead in the fourth quarter, and now it's down to nine. 2.58 to go. Boston 98, Sacramento 89 on the mid MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. The Celtics are back in action. This season, you can be back in the stands to experience it all live. Get verified tickets from Ticketmaster, the official marketplace of the NBA. And rest assured, if your plans change, Ticketmaster has you covered. Because selling your seats securely with Ticketmaster is as easy as a few taps. Get tickets at Ticketmaster.com Celtics.
Download free Nugs. Just add the Wendy's app to your phone and get an offer for a free 10-piece with purchase. Ah, yep, it's raining Nugs again. One app, all the... Ow! Wendy's. Limited time at participating Wendy's. New Year's is only. Account registration required. Terms apply. Whether you're in the game or betting on the game, you'll need a game plan. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the Boston Celtics, provides you with everything you need to build your personal betting game plan so you can get in on all the action while practicing safe bets. Visit DraftKings.com slash responsible dash gaming to learn more about all the safe betting tools DraftKings has to offer. Hope is here. 800-327-5050 or gambling helpline ma.org. Must be 21 plus. Play it smart from the start. GameSenseMA.com. Physically present in Massachusetts. See DraftKings.com slash responsible dash gaming for details and state-specific responsible gambling resources. Well, it's gotten uncomfortable. As I told you, the Celtics, their spot is locked up. So they have to play the way they want to play. They're playing against teams that are fighting for their playoff lives and for seeding. And it is shown here after the Celtics built a 19-point lead and went deep into the bench. Kings still have their starters in the game, and the Boston lead is down to 9 with 2.48 to go. No team yet. No. Celtics haven't scored in nearly three minutes now. Hauser catches, shovels to Tillman. He's open in the corner. Three, rims out, rebound, Barnes. Celtics have had their looks. They're down at 29%, one of the worst three-point shooting nights of the year. Now the Aaron Fox pull up. Three on Tillman. Got it. Six-point game. And Joe Mazzulla is going to leave this one in the hands of the guys on the floor. 98-92. Brissett, left-hand dribble drive, draws some contact, throws it up no good, but he'll get some free throws here with 2.13 to go. Yeah. Kings are over the limit. Kings want to know if they should challenge, but no. That was contact. He said, nope, nope, nope. Don't challenge that because that was a foul. Brissett went right into the body. Now can you make the free throws? Nope. Brissett missed one earlier that would have given the Celtics a 20-point lead. And from that point on, the Kings have run off 13 straight here to make it 98-92. It feels a little bit like a preseason game with the exception of one team has their starters on the floor. Brissett gets one of two. 99-92. Boston by seven. 2.08 to go. The Aaron Fox challenged by Tillman. Fox puts to the floor, drives right by and throws to the corner. Barnes shakes off Hauser and knocks down the three. It's a four-point game with plenty of time left. A minute 55 on the clock. The Lakers have to be looking at this as if they don't curse out the Celtics enough and say, really? You're going to give this one away. Pritchard for Mihailik. He's open, but he gives up the three to Tillman. Tillman hand back to Mihailik. He'll take oh. this one. It rims out. Rebound. Brissett's got it. Kick out Hauser. Hasn't been his night, but he's going to drive. Ball fake. Floated up. No good. Hauser misses again at the rim. Kings with the ball down by four. Minute 28 to go. Jones the kick out. Fox against Mihailik. Fox pull up at the elbow. Jumpers in the air. Rims out. Rebound Brissett. It was an inch away from getting the Kings within two. Now 99-95 Boston. Clock rolling with a minute 13 to go. Celtics have not made a shot since there was 640 left. That was that Pritchard three. How about one from Hauser? Short. Rebound. Sabonis. And he's fouled by Brissett. Stopping the clock with a minute three to go and the Kings trailing by four. Never know what you're going to get when you come to the ballpark. Fox, right-hand dribble coming strong, scoops it up and easily beating Tillman. It is a two-point game, 99-97. Celtics up, they've got the ball, clock rolling with 51, 50, 49 seconds to go. Fans on their feet, trying to get this group on the floor somehow over the finish line. Pritchard, deep on the right side, moving to his right, pull up at the elbow. Now at the dotted line, block from behind, the Kings have it. They can tie or better with 33 seconds to go. The Aaron Fox into the front court. Find the Sabonis screen. Pritchard jumps out of him. Fox pull up three, and it's good. Thank and you. the Kings have the lead. Fox banks it home. A 21-1 to one run for Sacramento down the stretch. Pritchard attacks. Pump fake in the paint. Draws two men. Throws it out towards Tillman. Now in the hands of Hauser. Celtics down with 13 seconds to go. Hauser drives. Gets blocked from behind. 
Loose ball gobbled up by Tillman. Tillman floats it from 10 feet away and knocks it down to give the Celtics the lead with 7.4 to go. Wow, that was crazy. It almost looked like Housie got fouled going towards the rim. A wild, wild finish to this one. This is an exercise in, you know what, believing that the guys who are on the floor are going to win the basketball game. Murray got the block on Hauser, but nobody got to the loose ball before Tillman, and he just stepped inside the free throw line, got to the dotted line, and just flipped it up and in with the right hand, and that's given Boston the lead. But now, who's going to guard Fox? The Kings have a lot of weapons to choose from, down by one with 7.4 to go. Well... Darren Fox is that guy, the key to a, who are you going to put on him? Uh, you got the same guys on the floor. You're not making any changes to who's going to be that dude defending against the Aaron Fox. Because what he's looking to do is looking to get a switch. He had Tillman on him. He had he maybe Percet. But he's trying to get ISO so he can get towards the rim. The Celtics went six minutes and 33 seconds without making a shot. They scored one point in that stretch, two points in that stretch, both free throws by O'Shea Brissett. It was a 21 to 1 run by the Kings that gave them the lead. But now they'll have to come up with a game winner on the road with 7.4 to go. What a strange night this has been. Don't be Aaron Fox, son. Barnes, what's working on the side out of bounds? Looking for Fox. Fox gets free. He's got it. Fox down the right side. Pulls up. Mid-block. Jumper. Rims out. Scramble for the rebound. Put back up. No good. Third chance by Jones. That won't go. Tillman grabs the rebound, and the game is over. Wow. Wow. A wild finish. Joe Mazzula puts his bench to the test. And skating by with a D minus. They get a passing grade and they survive a furious finish to give the Celtics their 61st win of the year. The final score Boston 101, Sacramento 100. Back with more on the Bet MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. Escape the lows of New England winters with a home equity line of credit from Clinton Savings Bank. Perfect for home improvements, tuition, debt consolidation, and dream vacations. Talk to us today about an introductory annual percentage rate of just 5 point. Phoenix Suns play here. Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. Welcome back to the Suns Report presented by PayPal. John Bloom, Tim Kempton with your engineers. Walt Ellis here at Footprint Center where it is sustainability night here tonight. And uh, there are 12 games on the NBA schedule. So a very busy Friday. And without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to TK because one very important game just went final, Tim. Yes, for us, Sacramento lost again. Back-to-back -back situation. So now the Suns are a game and a half up on Sacramento with the possibility of going another half game if they take care of Minnesota tonight. That was a 101 to 100 final in Boston. Another game we'll watch. Golden State taking on Dallas right now. Golden State up 54-52 at halftime. And why not throw a third one in there, John Bloom? San Antonio Spurs at the New Orleans Pelicans. That's tied at 88 with uh, about 10 minutes to go in that game. Uh, a couple of finals already. We got uh, Orlando losing to Charlotte. We got Indiana taking care of the OKC Thunder, 126, 112, and uh, Washington got beat by Portland, 108, 102. The Knicks are going up against Chicago. Miami at Houston, Detroit versus Memphis. Toronto and Milwaukee are playing, and uh, Utah is at the LA Clippers, who we'll see later on this week coming up. <laughs> 
And I know, Suns fans, it's not easy to cheer for that team in San Antonio. But tonight you can be a Spurs fan because that is a big game. And the Spurs actually just took their first lead of that game, although the Pelicans answered. And now it's tied at 90. Just over nine minutes left to go. We'll keep you up to date on that one. Of course, Pelicans will be here on Sunday afternoon for a 3 o'clock tip-off in that one. A little matinee here at Footprint Center. All right, we're going to get a break in. When we come back, it's time to chat with head coach Frank Vogel. We'll get you ready for for tonight's matchup, the Suns and the Timberwolves here on the Phoenix Suns Basketball Network. What's inside you? Is it strength? Is it speed? Is it knowledge of the game? Unlocking the greatness inside you means digging deeper, running faster, and going further than you can on your own. Banner Sports Medicine High Performance Center trains the athlete in all of us with technology, techniques, and hands-on experience customized to you. See what you're capable of by unlocking the greatness inside of you. At Gila River Resorts and Casinos, no one does it better. So roll the dice. Pull off a win. Go all in. And stack them high. However you do you, no one lets you take it to legendary status like we do. Gila River Resorts and Casinos. You do you. Footprint exists to create a healthier planet. Their mission is to provide sustainable packaging solutions to reduce the planet's reliance on plastics. They help fans in the Footprint Center and consumers in Arizona and beyond make plastic-free choices to help the planet and their health. Footprint is based right here in the Valley, and they're proud to be the sustainability partner of the Phoenix Suns. Together, we can change the world, one footprint at a time. Learn more at FootprintUS.com. That's FootprintUS.com. Footprint. Healthy planet. Healthy people. The home of Phoenix Suns basketball, Arizona Sports 98.7, and the Arizona Sports app. Welcome back to the Suns Report. Time to chat with head coach Frank Vogel, getting ready for tonight's game against the Western Conference leading Minnesota Timberwolves, and we'll get to them in just a second. But how about another big victory at home? You've talked about this stretch and how you feel like it's going to sharpen your team. Uh, a win against the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, looked like uh, a pretty sharp team the other night. Yeah, we played one of our best basketball games. Um, felt great about you know, the results. The offensive rating uh, was one of our best. The defensive rating was one of our best. So uh, complete two-way performance. Uh, I will say that when we watch the tape, there's areas we could have been even better, you know, a lot of areas. So uh, we used yesterday as, uh, you know, let's tighten the screws and let's e improve even in a win. And hopefully we have we take some of the lessons from that game into tonight's game and be better. I was going to ask you about one of the areas that you've been discussing with me lately, trying to improve transition defense. How do you feel about the team right now on that front? Yeah, it's just something that we have to continue to to watch every day. You know, we 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 were so bad out of the All Star break for that stretch that uh, we made a commitment that we're going to continue to we're just going to look at it every day, good or bad. You know, all the all the things that go into uh, the execution pieces, how we're matching up, how we're leveling out the ball, how we're getting back into our tight shell, the the sprint effort at the at the front of it when we turn the basketball over um, on on missed shots, um, the second wave effort we call the guys that are in the backcourt coming back in to try to get a you know get to a three point shooter or something like all those things that. Uh, save a possession, you know, are, are things we're highlighting, and, and, and I do see improvement right now. Well, and your team is taking full advantage of those possessions offensively, shooting better than any other team in the league the last 15 games. The numbers have been pretty boisterous on the offensive end, and I'm curious to find out why you think percentages have gone up. Is it that there's just a, an overall grasp of the, the rotations and what you're looking for and what you're trying to get, guys getting to their spots better, or how do you see it uh, working so well offensively? Yeah, I mean, it's the first stretch, really, that we've been fully healthy. You know, this is our first... Uh I think it's been 12 games or 13 since we've we've had three of our all three of our captains in in, in the lineup uh, consecutively, and um, obviously there's a lot of firepower out there. And when when you get those guys some time to catch a rhythm uh, and and learn to be out there with one another, uh, you know all, all three of them have been the guy so to speak. Uh, but when they're out there together, it, it feels a little different. Uh, so we you know we're really preaching the, the ball movement, and when we're moving the ball around the horn, we have enough shot makers that are you know, give us a great chance to win. And when you look at the numbers, I mean, you see uh, a couple of the guys maybe being the guy statistically more than the other. But I wanted to point out Bradley Beal because maybe he's not putting up 30 and 40 and 50 point nights like uh, Kevin and Devin have been.
have been doing, but uh, it seems like his sacrifices have enabled everybody to kind of take a jump. Are you seeing the same thing we are? No doubt. You know, he's generating a lot of those those shots. When you see Kevin Durant and Bradley, I'm sorry, Kevin Durant and Devin Booker go for 30 and 40 points, um, you know, a lot of that offense is being generated by Bradley Beal touching the paint possession after possession after possession. I mean, he's getting the defense to shift and collapse and and creating great ball movement almost every time down. So, I mean, he's doing a, a ton, even if it's not showing up in the box score. And he's also taking the, you know, taking the lead on guarding the other team's best player on the other end. So, I mean, he's, he's doing a lot on both ends and a big reason why we won six out of eight. All right, last thing for you, Coach. Tonight, it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's a great matchup because we just got done talking about how great your team's shooting. They've been the top defensively pretty much from the get-go this season. Uh, Rudy Gobert manning the middle. What makes them so difficult defensively, and, and what do you think about this matchup here tonight? Yeah, it starts with the, their size. Obviously, Rudy in the middle, but also playing much of the season with Carl Anthony Towns or Nas Reed. You know, they just have great, they have great size next to Rudy, and they have great perimeter defensive talent. You know, so those guys fly around. Coach Finch does a great job with their uh, with their schemes and game plans and everything. And you know, we feel like uh, you know they they are one of the best in the league. But we have the shooting that that can hopefully stretch them out. And um, we showed that in game one. We got to do the same again tonight. All right, best of luck in it, Don. Coach, thanks again for your time. All right, thank you. That's Frank Vogel joining us here on the Suns Report. More straight ahead with Tim Kempton on the Phoenix Suns Basketball Network. Suns fans, get in on the action with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Download the app now for your chance to score on every play from the opening tip-off until the final basket. And with quick bets, you don't even have to wait the whole game to get a W. All on an app that's safe, secure, and super easy to use. Make every moment more with FanDuel, official sports book partner of the Phoenix Suns. 21 plus and present in Arizona. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text next step to 5334 Welcome back, Suns fans. We're about to see if Tiffany from Scottsdale can pull off this Suns merch purchase on shop.suns.com right at the buzzer. That credit card number is really slowing her down, John. She's got to find an easier way in. Hold up. She's changing to PayPal. What a move. Not only that, she's using promo code PayPal25 to score 25% off her order. Now that's one rewarding way to pay with PayPal, the preferred payments partner of the Phoenix Suns. And remember, folks, that code is PayPal25 for that 25% off your offer. Max $1,000 per order. Terms apply valid until the end of the season. With over 40 valley-wide locations and more coming soon, you're sure to have a cobblestone near you. Save time, save money, and go unlimited with Cobblestone Auto Spa. When you sign up for an unlimited plan, you get to enjoy the exclusive benefits and wash all you want at any cobblestone location with no contract required. Visit cobblestone.com to find a location near you and ask a team member about signing up today. Cobblestone Auto Spa, official car wash partner of the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns play here. Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. Down the stretch we come here on the Suns Report. Pre-game style, getting you ready for the Suns and the Timberwolves. It is game two of the three that these will play this season, these two teams, I should say. The first one was all the way back on November 15th. We talked about it, Tim. Suns won that one, 133 to 115. Uh, I think Frank Vogel used the phrase sleepwalking for how the Timberwolves were playing in that game uh, coming off the, the previous night's performance. So they were a little sluggish, and the Suns took advantage. Now here you got two teams that are rested. Both coming off of impressive performances themselves as the Wolves beat up on the Raptors 133-85 on Wednesday night. The Suns beat the Cavs 122-101. to All right, it's time to play some trivia. You ready? Let's go. All right, the uh, Suns and the Timberwolves are playing for the 126th time in the uh, series history. Uh, Suns won 81. So that's pretty dominant, right? 81 and 44. Uh-huh. Uh, just as dominant here at home where they have a five-game win streak in this series. Now, before that win streak started, they had basically roughly won twice as many games as the T-Wolves had here in Phoenix. I'm giving you plenty of hints. So through 65 previous matchups here in the Valley, how many wins do the Suns have over the Timberwolves? 65 games? 65 previous matchups. The Suns, in a dominant edge, have how many wins, Tim Kempton? 45. Oh, my goodness. 46. Oh, God. On the lip. You lipped out that one. <laughs> but it was they're going to fall eventually, right? When you, <laughs> when you have enough lip outs, eventually they just find the bottom of the cup. Now, that's a golf reference for you. Let's get back to basketball. 46 and 19 
the Suns record here at home and as I mentioned they've won five in a row yeah Suns uh Suns doing a nice job and so by what we're hearing Minnesota is is whining a little bit about that loss early a little in the bit. season yeah I was gonna offer them some cheese <laughs> and some crackers <laughs> and they have a built-in uh, a built-in bottle of wine here again since no Carl Anthony Towns but they've been very good 12 and 4 yeah. with Carl Anthony Towns not in the lineup uh, Rudy Gobert has played much better Anthony Edwards has taken his game to the next level and one guy that everybody to a man is talking about is the maturity is the leadership of Mike Conley yeah. with this group yeah Nas Reed's been big for them too filling in for the injured Carl Anthony Towns and we'll tell you all about the lineups the health updates all of that is straight ahead it's the Suns and the Timberwolves and it's coming up live from Footprint Center next Thanks for listening to The Suns Report, brought to you in part by PayPal. Trust the way you pay. Gila River Resorts and Casinos. Achieve legendary status. So you do you at Gila River Resorts and Casinos. Footprint. Healthy planet. Healthy people. By APS. Making every day brighter. And by FanDuel. Make every moment more. Join us before every Phoenix Suns game for the Suns Report, presented by PayPal. Now the stage is set for another great NBA matchup. Stay tuned for exciting Phoenix Suns basketball. It's coming up next right here on the Phoenix Suns Basketball Network. First Bank presents the future of business banking technology, human beings. Giving you access to 24-7 customer service, empathy, and someone who actually cares. Additional features include laughing at your jokes, offering you coffee, and a real beating heart. To see a human being for yourself, visit efirstbank.com slash business or go to a branch to meet one in real life. The technology you need and the humans you want. First Bank. Business banking for good. Member FDIC. Catch over 70 live game broadcasts, alternate broadcast streams, and original content with Suns Live, the all-new streaming platform now available to fans across Arizona. Pass to catch. Booker lines it up. Bottom up three for Devin Booker. Hits it and a foul. Kevin Durant. Watch the way you want on your computer, mobile web, and connected devices. That was magical. Subscriptions cost just $14.99 per month. Sign up today at live.suns.com. KMVP FM Phoenix, Arizona Sports, the local sports leader on the Arizona Sports app. Phoenix Suns basketball is live and on the air. On the air. It's time for Phoenix Suns action. The Suns are brought to you in part by Gila River Resorts and Casinos. Take it to another level with Gila River Resorts and Casinos. You do you. Footprint, healthy planet, healthy people. Michelob Ultra, it's only worth it if you enjoy it. Schwartz Laser Eye Center, TeamIDoc.com. Planet Fitness, the Judgment Free Zone. And by FanDuel, make every moment more. Now get ready. Here come the Suns. Number 77 of the regular season, and the Suns continue their homestand in downtown Phoenix, welcoming in the top team in the Western Conference, the Minnesota Timberwolves, here at Footprint Center. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back inside the gym. John Bloom along with Tim Kempton, our engineer, Walt Ellis. We got Tim Ring alongside doing the halftime scoreboard, taking your phone calls afterwards on our flagship station, 98.7 FM, the local sports leader here in Phoenix. Jamal Gumo and Allie producing back inside the studio and TK another big game we've chronicled it for the last couple weeks we knew that the last 10 games were all going to be big games and here we are right in the middle of it yeah and you have you're right in the middle of this four game homestand you're playing well you came off the road playing well you've already had had a nice game against the Cleveland Cavaliers no reason not to keep building off that uh, three and one over their last four take care of this homestand with the way the other teams are playing San Antonio beating New Orleans Sacramento losing two in a row to the Knicks and and, and Boston you could really solidify your spot 
at uh, at, at six if you just take care uh, of, of your home court against winnable te winnable games. And I'd love to take uh, your pulse on this. I talked to Frank Vogel about the matchup tonight. The Suns have been one of the hottest shooting teams, if not the best shooting team in the league the last few weeks. You're going up against a team that has had the top defense in the league pretty much wire to wire all season long. That is an enticing matchup to watch and see what unfolds here tonight, isn't it? Yeah, without a doubt. You, you mentioned that they're, they're the number one team in points allowed at 106 a game. And then uh, the field goal percentage, they're number one there as well. So um, it, it is a, a, a nice matchup. They're a really good offensive team that can shoot the ball. They can score at every level. They got multiple players that can uh, beat you by themselves. And then they got uh, a bunch of a bunch of hot shooting three-pointers as well. Yeah, because not only are they defending the three well, but they're also shooting it well. And they're coming off a game where they absolutely lit it up against the Toronto Raptors. But also... On the defensive side for the T-Wolves, a lot of attention is given to Rudy Gobert, but they're third limiting teams to three-point percentage at 35%, so they're clearly defending the perimeter, too. Yeah, Anthony Edwards, Mike Conley, most notably two guys, uh, you know, they, they keep on raving about Mike Conley, what he's added to this team over a full season. They got him last year at the trade deadline, immediate impact, but what they've noticed is that continuing throughout the year. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I get their head coach calls them the, the grown up in the in the room. So that tells you about how much they like him and his maturity and his leadership with with some of these more unstable characters. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know some of those unstable characters are also very good basketball but players. This is true. And have become even better thanks to Mike Conley's tutelage. Let's specifically point out Anthony Edwards because he and Rudy Gobert were not really clicking, but Mike Conley kind of coached him up with that because of course he was with Rudy Gobert in Utah. So if there's anybody that knows how to play with Rudy the best, it is that guy, Mike Conley, and the T Wolves lucky to have him running the show at the point guard spot. All right, we'll tell you who else is in the lineup. Health update, starting lineups. All that straight ahead live from Footprint Center. Chick-fil-A Valley restaurants continue their charitable efforts in partnership with the Phoenix Suns to fight against hunger in Arizona. For every assist the Suns make this season, Chick-fil-A will donate $25 to Phoenix Suns Phoenix Mercury Foundation. In addition, Chick-fil-A will also provide meals to underserved communities in the Valley on behalf of Phoenix Suns Phoenix Mercury Foundation throughout the season. Feed the ball, feed the Valley. See the impact we are making at suns.com slash valley assist. Catch over 70 live game broadcasts, alternate broadcast streams, and original content with Suns Live. The all-new streaming platform now available to fans across Arizona. Pass to catch. Booker lines it up. Bottom up three for Devin Booker. Hits it and a foul. Kevin Durant. Watch the way you want on your computer, mobile web, and connected devices. That was magical. Subscriptions cost just $14.99 per month. Sign up today at live.suns.com. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a Swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. The home of Phoenix Suns basketball, Arizona Sports 98.7, and the Arizona Sports app. Welcome back inside Footprint Center. It is time for tonight's health update brought to you by Banner Health, official health care partner of the Phoenix Suns, who are without Damian Lee tonight. He's still working his way back from that right meniscus surgery, but was out doing his uh, shoot around pregame as he started to do over the course of the last week or so. Grayson Allen and Yusuf Nurkic both were question marks coming in. Allen was actually listed as probable despite missing the last game with a hip uh, issue. Yusuf Nurkic was questionable with the left calf soreness, but both guys are available and in the lineup. The T-Wolves are dealing without Carl Anthony Towns, a left meniscus tear, and Jalen Clark with, out all season with a right Achilles tendon issue. All right, we got a uh, break, then we'll come back with starting lineups and tip-off. The Suns and the Timberwolves next. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. 
How about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. The Suns choose Velocity Services as its official facility services provider, and you can too. Velocity offers a wide range of services to create the ideal working environment. From healthy high-performance cleaning certification to troubleshooting risk of contamination, Velocity Services is here for all of your workplace cleaning needs. Check out our website, VelocityServices.com. At Velocity, we are always looking to add to our team with full-time and part-time employment opportunities. To learn more about potential openings, call 602-430-0900. Oh, wait. Goodbye, minivan. Mama got an instant online offer to sell you to CarMax. Because Mama's done with carpooling after soccer, school drop-off, songs with no swear words, finding old chicken nuggets. Mama's feeling kind of fancy. Mama's ready for a red-hot convertible. Is Mama ready to stop talking in third person? No, Mama's really not. Instant online offers. CarMax. The Phoenix Suns play here. Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. Back inside Footprint Center. Time for tonight's starting lineups. First for the visiting Minnesota Timberwolves. 53 and 23 on the season. They're 25 and 13 away from home. Under head coach Chris Finch in his fourth season. And he's assisted by Micah Nori, Pablo Prigioni. Elston Turner, the former Suns aide, along with Kevin Hansen and Corliss Williamson. And in the backcourt for the T-Wolves, it is the veteran point guard Mike Conley in his 18th season out of Ohio State, along with Anthony Edwards. Ant-Man, they call him out of Georgia. Jaden McDaniels is at one forward, the third-year pro from Washington. Nas Reed at the other forward spot in his fifth season out of LSU. And Rudy Gobert, the stifle tower in the middle, at 11th season out of France at 7 foot one and 265 pounds will be along or across the way from Yusuf Nurkic and the Suns. Let's get to their starters at 45 and 31 on the season, including 24 and 14 here at home on a two game win streak after the victory Wednesday night over the Cleveland Cavaliers. Head coach Frank Vogel in his first campaign. He's got associate head coach Kevin Young along with David Fisdale, Quentin Crawford, Miles Simon, Greg St. Jean, John Lucas III, Drew Amprop, and John Pastoric. And in the backcourt for the Suns, it's Beal and Booker. Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, along with Grayson Allen. Allen and Kevin Durant as the forwards. Allen returns after missing one game. He's making his 70th start of the season. That's only outdone by Yusuf, or Yusuf Nurkic, who's making his 72nd start in the middle tonight for the Suns on sustainability night here at Footprint Center. It's a busy Friday downtown. First Friday happening. You got the uh, music festival at Hans Park and March Madness in town. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. The, the, the... Don't don't drive down here. Take take the light rail. <laughs> well, if you do, we'll give you something to listen to because we also have a massive game about to tip off right here at Footprint Center, and we've got a game that we're watching on the scoreboard that is about to finish up. It is uh, right now nine tenths of a second left in New Orleans, and the Spurs have a three point lead on the Pelicans, one hundred nine to one hundred six. So that's we're a big getting help from all over the place tonight, John Bloom. <laughs> they are. We'll see if the Warriors can also add to that help as they are visiting the Mavericks and that game's close right now in the third quarter and uh, we are just getting ready to start the Suns are going to wear their whites tonight with Suns across their chest and the sunburst trimmed in purple and orange the Timberwolves wearing their navy blue trimmed in uh, lighter blue and white and just waiting to see one of the T-Wolves uh, turn as they're all facing away from us right now. <laughs> Minnesota across the chest of the Timberwolves in white. And the names and numbers are in white on the back. Our officials tonight are John Goble, Sean Corbin, and Brandon Adair. And the crew chief, John Goble, will throw up the jump ball between Yusuf Nurkic and Rudy Gobert. You know, we were talking about body size around the league. I don't know if we included Rudy, but he's definitely one of the bigger frame guys, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he sure is. And, you know, now you put Nas Reed on the floor with them. And that athleticism between Jade McDaniels and Anthony Edwards on the wings. 
Here's the opening jump, and it's won by Nurk into the backcourt. Bradley Beal had to save it. He got it to Nurkic and then got it back. Here come the Suns, working right to left to start tonight's action. Durant gets it at the top of the key, bounces it to Nurkic. Right wing, he holds above his head, guarded by Gobert. Hand off to Beal. He'll penetrate on Conley, cut off at the right elbow. Backs it out beyond the arc to Nurkic. He bounces it back to Beal, and it's stolen away by Nas Reed. Here he comes, one-on-one -on -one into the lane, blocked by Nurkic. And Kevin Durant brings it back the other direction. Now Booker brings it up the left wing, tries a three. It's off the rim, no good. Grayson Allen tipping it, but we're going to get a whistle and a foul on the shot. And Booker's going to head to the free throw line. Yeah, again, we see the pace. Great play by Nurk, breaking up the transition uh, attempt by the Timberwolves. Leads to a run out, and Devin Booker gets in the line. If, if the first possession is any indication, we know why they're a good defensive team. Yeah, they were scrambling all around. Well, not only that, they were grabbing and holding everybody. Kevin Durant tried to cut, was being held. Tried to come off a screen, was being held. Bradley Beal got held on the backdoor cut. Booker gets uh, first free throw to go and lets everybody take a seat here at Footprint Center as they wait till the Suns get on the board. And now he hits the second as well, rocking his New Haven versions of the Chapter 1s that are going to be officially released to the public tomorrow morning. TK, you're going to be in line for the Havens? No. No, he's not going to get in line. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to. It's a digital line these days. You just open this your phone. True. That's what you do when you get in line. All right, all three free throws are good by Book, and the Suns have a 3 nothing lead. We're 40 seconds into quarter number one. Here in Phoenix as Gobert hands it off to Anthony Edwards, gets it back in the lane, Euro step, then he throws it too hard off the backboard. Good defense by Nurkic and company, and here come the Suns the other way. It's Bradley Beal on the right side, handling with the left hand. He throws cross court to Booker, drives the paint, bounce pass knocked away and stolen again by Nas Reed. He was trying to get it to Nurkic. Reed drives Beal to the left block, runner, no, in and out. As it rolled around the rim and came off for Nas Reed, who had his first attempt blocked, and that one couldn't hit point blank. That was a great play by Bradley Beal, just challenging him, not giving him a clean look. Now Booker gets a clean look at the free throw line, but can't get it. Nurkic tips it out to Durant. He has it on the right wing. Back to Nurkic, posting up on the right block. He turns baseline and then floats it back to KD with five on the shot clock. Durant drives past Edwards, hangs in the air, puts a jumper up short. He thought he was fouled, no call, and now here comes... Edwards back to the top of the arc. He's going to shoot a three, and it rolls off the rim no good. And man struggled in the first matchup between these two teams. Just four of 16 from the floor in that game. And now misses his first attempt of the night here. Hooker on the drive. It's all the way to the right block. His runner goes as it rolled around the rim and dropped. Like Dirk uh, setting those high picks because that pulls Gobert away from the rim. Booker gives the Suns a 5-0 lead. He scored all five. Edwards on the drive with the left hand. He gets to the rim. Blocked by Nurkic again. And he brings it out of the pack. Here come the Suns pushing the pace. Allen up the left wing. Hesitates, then backs it out to Booker beyond the arc. He puts it on the deck with Edwards defending him. Booker, left-hand dribble. Has Gobert switched on him. Finds Nurkic in the lane. He bodies up with Gobert. Puts it up and in with a right hand as he gets knocked down. No whistle, but Nurk with his first bucket, and the Suns are up seven. Yeah, and that's how you negate that size. You put your shoulder right in the middle of his chest. Nice move by Yosef Nurkic. Mike Conley gets it from Gobert. Gives it to him in the lane, and his pass stolen by Grayson Allen. Here come the Suns. Allen got in the passing lane. Just took it right away from Rudy Gobert. Now Nurkic trailing the play, dribbles at the top of the arc, finds Durant underneath. He hangs and hits, count it, and the foul on Nas Reed, the deuce, and the damage for KD. And that's that's where, where Kevin's going to excel in this game, moving Nas Reed. You know, Nas is long, he's talented, but doesn't have the, the mobility to chase Kevin Durant around off picks all night long. So KD to the line to try to finish off a three-point play. And give the Suns a 10-0 lead. We are just shy of three minutes into the first quarter here at Footprint Center. And Durant bends, shoots, and hits the free throw. 10-zip. 9.07 left to go. Quarter number one. How about Nurkic already? Four rebounds, two assists, and two blocks. And we're just three minutes into this game. Nas Reed on the right wing. Drives on Nurkic. Throws it high off the window. No good. Rebound taken by Allen. He'll bring it back the other way, drives past McDaniels, flips to Booker left wing, into the corner, it goes to Beal. Back to Booker, now Allen's left alone, he'll shoot the three and hit that three. 
13 straight points to start the game for the Phoenix Suns and a timeout for Chris Finch and the T-Wolves. 8.44 to play in the first quarter and Footprint Center already taking the lid off. We'll take a break and come back after these messages. Every day, savings. Every day at APS, we're here to help you find ways to save energy and money. Schedule a home energy checkup for savings recommendations tailored to your home and energy use. Find rebates on smart thermostats, energy-efficient appliances, EV chargers, and more at the APS Marketplace. Compare your rate plan options and switch to the plan that would have saved you the most money on your energy bill. Find these and more ways to save at APS.com slash brighter. Footprint exists to create a healthier planet. Their mission is to provide sustainable packaging solutions to reduce the planet's reliance on plastics. They help fans in the Footprint Center and consumers in Arizona and beyond make plastic-free choices to help the planet and their health. Footprint is based right here in the Valley, and they're proud to be the sustainability partner of the Phoenix Suns. Together, we can change the world, one footprint at a time. Learn more at FootprintUS.com. That's FootprintUS.com. Footprint. Healthy planet. Healthy people. Come out to a Phoenix Suns game and enjoy the new Benihana and Ross Sushi Concession location in the main concourse area within Footprint Center. Enjoy mouth-watering hibachi, yakisoba, poke bowls, and sushi while watching your favorite Valley team battle on the court. Can't wait to enjoy? Visit Benihana in Scottsdale or Chandler or Ross Sushi in Mesa, Old Town, North Scottsdale, or Ahwatukee. Go Suns! Hi, it's Vince Murata of Arizona Sports. Did you know that most weight loss programs don't work over the long haul? Why? Because they don't address problems in a person's metabolism. Revitalize is different. It identifies the issues in your metabolism, and it's the only weight loss program to actually measure, track, and benchmark your metabolic age during the weight loss process. I know from experience I lost 32 pounds with Revitalize. Suns fans, get your initial body composition and metabolic age analysis for free when you schedule and tell Revitalize the Phoenix Suns sent you. Go to joinrevitalize.com. Come. The home of Phoenix Suns basketball, Arizona Sports 98.7, and the Arizona Sports app. Now make every moment more with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. 8.44 left to go, quarter number one here in Phoenix, and the Suns off to a 13 nothing start. TJ. Yeah, pretty good start. They're shooting 66%. What I like is that uh, of those 13 points, four guys have already scored. The only one who hasn't even attempted a shot, Bradley Beal. Four assists on four made buckets, six to one in the uh, rebounding category. Overall, solid start across the board. And right now, it's going to be Minnesota basketball. Again, Conley handling the point and dribbling it across the timeline with the left hand. He waits for Edwards to come get it around a go bear screen. Now Conley gets it back, dribbles right side. Cross court, it goes to Edwards, driving on Allen. Pull up jumper from 15, short. Rebound, Beal got up high to grab that off the front iron. And gives it ahead to Durant on the left side. He backs down against Conley, left wing. Turns to the baseline, then feeds Beal over to the right wing. It's Allen for three. That one's hard off the back rim. Rebound taken by Edwards, and he'll bring it up for the T-Wolves. Quickly weaving through traffic with the left-hand dribble. He backs it out beyond the arc as Allen cut him off. Edwards starts to drive with the left hand. Swings to Conley on the left wing, and a foul called away from the ball yeah, on Yusuf Nurkic. Calling on Nurkic, holding on to... Rudy Gobert as he rolled down the bat and rolled down the lane. And that That's may have been fortuitous because Conley buried a three right after the whistle blew. Pretty ticky tacky compared to where they're playing. I agree Let, with that. Letting the contact go on the other end so far. Gobert gets the inbounds pass and hands it to Conley. He gets it knocked away by Nurkic and a steal for Allen. Here come the Suns with numbers. Beal to the rim. He'll jam it with both hands and then take a swing for effect. The Suns up 15 zip. Well, I don't like the way he's coming down holding that right hand might have might have aggravated that finger again John Bloom. Remember that ring finger he's had wrapped <laughs> the last couple weeks and he definitely threw that down with some ferocity as here comes Conley driving through the lane oh. this time a whistle and a foul called on Grayson Allen who slapped the ball away. He thought he had a lot of ball but Conley draws the foul. I don't think he was shooting the ball but he's heading to the line as if he was. They're going to give it to him. He is going to get free throws and a chance to get the T-Wolves on the board. Suns up 15-0. Minnesota 0 for 6 from the floor. 0 for 1 from downtown. But this will be the first free throw attempt. Suns 4 for 4. And I am seeing Bradley Beal 
wincing as yes. he grabs that right hand. First free throw rolls around and drops for Conley. We actually see a little tape on it tonight. Yeah, he's got a little black tape on yeah. it. So Conley, one more free throw coming up. He's averaging over 11 points. Leads the T-Wolves with six assists per game. And he's shooting 44% from three, TK. That's fourth best in the league. Yeah, pretty impressive. Mike Conley, one of those veterans that just uh, he seems to be getting getting better with age. It's both free throws. And that puts the Wolves within 13, 15 to 2. Seven and a half minutes left in quarter number one as Booker bounces to Duran on the logo. He swings to Beal left side. He'll drive on the left wing, then back it out against Conley. Put it on the deck with a left hand. He'll put it off the window and in. Nice touch there by Bradley Beal. That finger looked just fine. Yeah, and then that's the advantage. You can take advantage of Mike Conley because of his size with some of these bigger guards. Four points on the night for Beal. He's got the last four, 17 to 2. Suns on top. Edwards spinning on Durant, then leans in, gives it to McDaniels, who will pull up at the free throw line and hit the jumper. Jaden McDaniels has his first two of the night. And it's 17 4. Suns on top as the T Wolves have their first field goal. One for seven. Booker gives to Nurkic all alone at the top of the key, then gets it back. Drives against McDaniels to the dotted line. Right hand floater off the back rim, no good. Rebound yeah. taken by Reed. Yeah, Booker reacted to Jaden McDaniels. Threw that up a little bit higher than he normally does. Now Conley driving through the lane. Feeds Reed for an open three, and he missed it off the rim. Rebound knocked loose from Gobert, taken by Grayson Allen. Ahead to Beal, who flips it to Booker right wing. He has Reed defending him, puts it on the deck, drives past him, then backs up and gives to Nurkic. Back to Booker on the right side with 13 to shoot. Durant gets it top of the arc. They play catch. Booker driving on Reed, goes between his legs, hesitates, then feeds KD. Five on the shot clock. He penetrates on McDaniels, fades from six, and hits nothing but the bottom of the net. Yeah, just good ball movement. KD with his first field goal. Or make it second of the night. He's got five. 19 to 4. Suns by 15 with 5.55 to go in the first. Edwards to the left elbow. He'll jump one up. Too strong. Rebound goes to Beal. Who soared above the crowd to grab it. Now ahead, Allen penetrating on Conley. Gets to the rim. Misses the runner. Short as he pulled the string a little bit. Hanging in the air. And here comes Edwards the other way. Bounce pass. Conley lost the handle. And it's stolen by Booker. Ahead. Allen quickly here comes KD in transition he goes to the rim with it it's knocked away by Gobert and a foul is called and that will send Durant to the line what I like tonight is the guards helping out obviously Nurk is tied up with Rudy Gobert he's doing a fine job he's got four for Grayson Allen with three rebounds Bradley Beal the guys are staying in and, and, and helping out the bigs gathering the ball on the defensive glass right now yeah, and that has definitely led to the dominance uh, on the glass that along with the Timberwolves missing eight of their nine shots and now Durant at the free throw line able to knock down the first he's two for two from the stripe Suns five for five as a team and leading by 16 now their biggest advantage so far tonight is Eric Gordon checks in for the first time replacing Bradley Beal he has four points and a couple boards you know, it's it's amazing you can you can you know kind of script it now when when you got a full roster the, the, the substitution pattern how Frank's gonna gonna um, put the matchups and the lineups on the floor starting to get more consistent with it and that is the luxury of getting healthy as Frank talked about in the pregame with me earlier here's Kyle Anderson who just checked in from Minnesota handing it to Edwards he'll hit the three on the left wing and the foul called on Kevin Durant Anthony Edwards a chance at a four-point play Durant picks up his second personal as yeah, well. Had him on that sideline. See. Well, he just got him with his body trying to close out. He's trying to fight through Kyle yeah. Anderson's pick. Yeah. And ended up fouling Anthony Edwards on that three-point attempt. Edwards now have one for five on the night from the floor, and he hits the free throw. His first attempt from there. 21 to 8. Suns by 13 with 515 to go in the first quarter. Edwards leading the T-Wolves, averaging over 26 a game. That's 11th best in the league. Of course, the Suns have two of the top 10. Uh, now here. we're going to get a foul away from the ball as Booker just got into the forecourt. Yeah, and Anthony Edwards had uh, Kevin Durant wrapped up with a pretty strong hook there. So Edwards called for his first personal. And Durant 
to inbound. I was just going to mention Booker with his big 40 point performance Wednesday night overtook KD in the uh, scoring leaders. Booker fifth at 27.5, KD sixth right behind him. Here's Eric Gordon on the drive, running left hander, rolls off the rim, no good. And Nas Reed has it for the Wolves. Up the left wing comes Edwards. He blows past Durant through the lane, hangs and hits with a right hand runner. Anthony Edwards starting to heat up here as he's made his last two with the three-pointer. And now that runner, he has six. 21 to 10, the Suns' lead is cut to 11. Allen on the drive, stops at the dotted line, spins, shoots, and misses short. Second time he's pulled the string there in the lane. And with four and a half minutes left, the Wolves have it, trying to cut it to single digits. Edwards drives on Allen, gets into the lane, and swings left side to Anderson. He penetrates on Nurkic, pull-up jumper is short. Rebound tipped up, no good by Edwards, and taken by Booker. Ant-Man thought he was fouled on that tip attempt and didn't get the whistle. Now Durant in the left corner. We're going to get a whistle and a travel. Oh, wow. Great call. Way too late, though, John. It call was it. late. Call it when it happens. Don't look at it and think you got a call. It was John Goebel, the crew chief, who blew the whistle, but it was late. And now the T-Wolves get it on the turnover. But I agree with, Jay, with, with Grayson Allen. If you're allowed two steps all over the court, they're calling it a gather. You know, you've taken the, the walk out of the game. Kyle Anderson holding at the top of the arc, flips it to Edwards. He's dribbling against Grayson Allen. Ten on the shot clock. Goes to his left. Lost the handle again. It's poked away. Another steal for Booker. Here come the Suns. Booker driving into the lane. He gets it knocked away, but saves it. And it's going to be out of bounds, they say. Booker was out when he saved that into Kevin Durant. So that'll turn it back to Minnesota. Both yeah. teams turning it over. Yeah, a couple empty possessions. The Suns have turned it over four times. Now they've been good. Not giving up points off of it, but uh, you got to got to convert when you have opportunities. Making great plays defensively, not even getting shots on the other end. Drew Eubanks replaces Yusuf Nurkic on the floor. Suns by 11 with 3:40 to play in the first. Edwards gives it in the the middle to Monte Morris, who just checked in. He bounces it to Anderson, penetrating on Eubanks. Stops at the free throw line. Got him to leave his feet. Leans in, missed everything, and it's going to be a shot clock violation as Kyle Anderson was trying to draw the foul on Eubanks, but he played some good deeds. Yeah, he did. He went straight up. He, he was clearly away from him, and Kyle Anderson tried to jump into him from about three feet away. Time That's a good no call. It was indeed. 328 to play in the first. It's the Suns 21, the T Wolves 10. Your gas light's on. We need to fill up. Gas around here is too expensive. Don't drive all over searching for the lowest prices. Just download the free Upside app and get cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. I've already made around 200 bucks. You can make that kind of cash back just for buying gas? I'm stopping now to download Upside and fill up my tank. Download the free Upside app to earn real cash back every time you buy gas. Cash out any time to your bank account, PayPal, or e-gift card. Download the free Upside app now and use promo code RADIO for an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first fill up. That's promo code RADIO. In the next 30 seconds, one sweltering beach bum will decide it's just too hot and want to move somewhere milder. And as he's dreaming of a brisk outdoor jog, cracking open a window, and the comfort of throwing on a light layer, he'll realize I've got to sell the house and fix it and stage it and show it. Or skip the hassles, sell directly to Open Door, and move on to the things that matter, like that cool breeze. Get your competitive offer at opendoor.com slash new move. Eligibility and offer price may vary. Open Door is represented by Open Door Brokerage Inc. License 02061130 in California and Open Door Brokerage LLC in its other market. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Dan Bickley, Vince Morata, Bickley and Morata Mornings. I love this show. This is the greatest show in the history of radio. Ron Wolfley, Luke Lipinski, Wolf and Luke Middays. Don't waste all your best material this early in the show. Boom! Because I want people to keep listening. Dave Burns, John Gambadoro, Burns and Gambo Afternoons. Are you ready for this? All right, let's go. Arizona Sports is the local sports leader and the only place you can watch, read, and listen to Arizona's biggest sports personalities on 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. The Phoenix Suns play here. Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. 
Spinato's wants to celebrate the champion of the pizza competition. Winner of two tickets to tonight's game. Pizza for a month. And he'll be shooting his, his or her shot tonight to make it for pizza for a year. Join us in rooting for them on Spinato'sPizzeria.com. 328 left to go. Quarter number one. It's the Suns 21. And the T-Wolves 10. Suns scored the first 15 points of the game. But... Uh, we're able to take a lead by as many as 17. T-Wolves chopping it down a little bit here. Yeah, they have. The Suns need to just get back to you know, the aggressive offense. Don't turn it over. They've turned it over four times now and uh, taken up scoring opportunities away. Bradley Beal back on the floor along with Gordon, Durant, Eubanks, and Booker. Durant gets it at the free throw line, turns, shoots, and hits there right over Nas Reed. Yeah, again, Kevin coming off a nice screen set by Drew Eubanks right at that free throw line. That's his, that's his comfort zone. Nine points for KD and the Suns back up 13. 23 to 10, just over three minutes to go. Quarter number one. Here's a three on the left wing, up and good as Nikhil Alexander Walker, who just checked in, knocks that one down. And That's pretty good defense. Kevin Durant had a hand up right in front of him. He's a 39% shooter from deep this season. Alexander Walker in his sixth out of Virginia Tech. Booker on the dribble. Guarded by Walker, now gives to Durant, penetrates, feeds Eubanks on the left block. He takes it to the dotted line, up fakes on Reed, right hand hook too strong, and Reed got the rebound. So it's a 10 point game, two and a half minutes to go, quarter number one, 23 13. Here's a three from Edwards, around the rim, no good. Eubanks grabs it for Phoenix. Kevin Durant will handle the ball into the forecourt with a right hand dribble. He waits for Eric Gordon to come set a screen. Durant dribbling right side. Flips to Gordon. He penetrates, hangs, scoops, and scores. He got the roll with the right hand. Love him attacking right off the catch. His defender got in between him and Kevin gets the ball and just goes on the attack. First bucket for Gordon off the bench. And the Suns are up 12, 25-13 with under two minutes to go. Edwards driving. He draws a whistle. And a foul is called on the Suns. I believe Bradley Beal gets his first personal there. Brandon Adair blew the whistle on Beal with a minute 57 left in the first. It's going to send Anthony Edwards to the line where he's one for one. You got Anthony Edwards. He, he's another tough guy to, to guard physically. He's such big and strong. And he's got, you know, he handles the ball so well. Obviously, he shoots it all over the place. Just one of those unique athletes with his size and strength. You know, he went through a little bit of a shooting run over the course of the last month and is just coming out of it in the last couple of games. Chris Finch was talked to, talking about it before the game and said, you know, he's not the kind of guy I need to be in his ear to, to help him with his confidence. He's got plenty of that. Yeah, he sure does. But he still has been helping him along the way, and Edwards is now out of that shooting slump, although he's two for eight here tonight. He makes his third straight free throw and has eight points to lead Minnesota. They're back within 10, 25-15, a minute 50 left in the first. Booker gets a pick from Eubanks and dribbles to the right wing. Lost the handle momentarily, then gives it to Beal for three, and he hits it on the right side. Bradley Beal lines it up, knocks down his first trifecta of the evening, and the Suns go back up 13, 28-15, seven on the Night for Beal. Edwards driving into Beal's chest, gives to Morris in the right corner and gets it back. Around a pick from Gobert. Swings to Anderson. He'll penetrate, run one up with the right hand and hit it over Royce O'Neal. Kyle Anderson on the drive, gets his first bucket and it's 28-17 Suns with a minute 14 to go. Booker dribbling left side, penetrates, then swings to Gordon on the right wing. He'll shoot a deep three and miss it, but a whistle and a foul as Kyle Anderson fouled Gordon on the closeout. Yeah, it's amazing. Eric Gordon usually does that. When he comes out and gets that first real aggressive drive, it sets up his his shooting from outside. We saw, we saw it right there as, uh, again, getting to the free throw line for three of them. Speaking of a guy who doesn't lack confidence, I mean, just to, to take the shots he takes means that he's got to have a world of confidence behind him, right? Uh, it's just a lot, a lot of time in the gym. Uh, that, that's where that comes from, is just seeing the ball go through the hoop so often in an empty gym. Gordon in his 16th season out of Indiana, able to hit the first two of the three free throws. He'll have one more coming up. 
as he's averaging over 11 points a game off the bench. Most of his action has come off the bench. He has started 24 of the 64 games he's appeared in for the Suns here in his first season in Phoenix. And his third free throw misses off the back iron. Gordon shooting 80% from the line. Goes two for three. And the Suns are up 13 with a minute to play here in the first. Edwards around a pick from Gobert. Penetrates, gets it knocked away by Gordon. It's loose. Gordon gets the steal. Suns with numbers. Beal takes it into the paint. Runs one up and in with the left hand. Suns doing a great job attacking the ball uh, of the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're kind of coming in. You know what? That ball exposed. The Suns doing a great job knocking it away. Several times it's been Anthony Edwards, and that time it was Eric Gordon picking his pocket. Now Monte Morris answers for the Wolves with a three from the left corner. And Morris has his first points of the night. Comes from distance, 32 to 20. 30 seconds left in the first as Booker just dribbles left of the Sunburst logo at center court. He's guarded by Alexander Walker. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Booker still on the dribble. Seven to shoot. He gets around a pick from Beal, and it's going to be an offensive foul whistled on Bradley Beal for setting that pick. Yeah, and that was just Booker going too soon. He just he just uh, said the same thing to, to Bradley. Didn't let him get set. Booker didn't use the screen and still moving when the contact occurred. So Beal picks up his second personal foul. And he's going to go to the bench. Grayson Allen checks in for him for the final 16.7 seconds of the first quarter. So the T-Wolves plenty of time to get a good look here. Down by a dozen. They trail by as many as 17. Anthony Edwards leading them with eight points. He dribbles on the logo center court. Down to nine seconds left. Gordon defending. Edwards gets a pick from Gobert. Dribbles to his left. Bounce pass into the corner. Anderson couldn't handle it. It goes out of bounds. They'll turn it over to the Suns. That's their eighth miscue here in the first quarter. And credit the Suns defense. 2.8 seconds left. It's going to be Royce O'Neal inbounding in the backcourt. He throws to Eubanks. Hand off to Booker. Gets into the forecourt. Fires a three at the buzzer. It's short. But just to get that look was a nice play by the Suns. And at the end of the first, Suns lead it by a dozen. 32 to 20 over the front-running Minnesota Timberwolves. We'll come back for quarter number two live from Footprint Center next. At Fry's Pharmacy, care is what's most convenient for you. Care is being here when you need us by being open evenings and weekends. Care is helping you save more, accepting most insurance plans and discount cards. Care is saving you time by managing your prescriptions online. Care is convenience that works for everyone. Kroger Health and Fry's, a world of care is in store. Learn more at fryesfood.com slash pharmacy. Services and availability vary by location. Age and other restrictions may apply. For coverage, consult your health insurance company. Visit the pharmacy or our site for details. The Suns choose Velocity Services as its official facility services provider, and you can too. Velocity offers a wide range of services to create the ideal working environment. From healthy high-performance cleaning certification to troubleshooting risk of contamination, Velocity Services is here for all of your workplace cleaning needs. Check out our website, velocityservices.com. At Velocity, we are always looking to add to our team with full-time and part-time employment opportunities. To learn more about potential openings, call 602-430-0908. At Pacific Office Automation, we don't make technology. We make technology work. That's why we're a proud technology partner of the Phoenix Suns. Find your total office solution for copiers and printers, managed IT and cloud services, telephone systems, data security, and more. Experience our uncommon commitment to customer service. Visit PacificOffice.com. We make technology work. Check it out. At Gila River Resorts and Casinos, no one does it better. So, make a splash. Taste all the flavors. Pop in bottles all night long. And shake it till you break it. However you do you. No one lets you take it to a legendary status like we do. Gila River Resorts and Casinos. You do you. The home of Phoenix Suns basketball, Arizona Sports 98.7, and the Arizona Sports app. Don't forget to make every pass, steal, drive, and dunk matter more with FanDuel, the official sportsbook partner of the Phoenix Suns, who lead the Minnesota Timberwolves 32-20 after one quarter of play. TK has marked up his box score with an orange highlighter tonight. What do you got over there? Yeah, the, the rebounds, 11-9 assists, 10 assists on the Suns' 11 made baskets. They've turned it over five times but haven't given up points. 
where they've turned over the Minnesota Timberwolves eight times for 14 points. So good, uh, good numbers there. T Wolves work left to right to start quarter number two. Conley gives to Anderson at the top of the arc, throws left corner, Alexander Walker. Now the pass into the lane is knocked away by Bull, who just checked in, and another steal for the Suns. They've racked up seven already here tonight. And Nurkic gets it on the right wing. He's got two of them. Nurk puts it on the deck and hands it to Beal. He penetrates right elbow jumper on the way and good for Bradley Beal. Feeling it. Five for five from the floor. It started with a big time two-hand jam. And now he's hitting the mid-range jumpers. 34-20. Suns by 14 with 11-20 to go. Here's Conley swinging cross court to Alexander Walker. He gets Gordon to fly by. Then gives to McLaughlin a three straight away. No good. Rebound to Bull. And the Suns bring it back right to left with Royce O'Neal out there. Nurkic, Bull, Gordon, and Beal. Nurkic has it top of the arc. Hand off to Beal. Again on the dribble. Feeds O'Neal. He penetrates into the lane and then gives it back to Nurk, who just holds on to the ball. Then starts to drive into Gobert. Right-hand runner. No good. Rebound taken by Alexander Walker. Nurkic hits the deck as he's grabbing his face. Took a shot from Gobert. And now on the other end, the T-Wolves with numbers. McLaughlin misses a three in and out. O'Neal had it. Saved it in for Gordon. Lob ahead to Nurkic, who never left the backcourt. He goes up with it, misses the runner, but a foul is called, and now Nurkic going to have a conversation and ask why the previous contact wasn't called the foul. Oh, wow. He's exactly right. You just Rudy, saw a replay? Yeah, Rudy Gobert caught him right across his jaw with his forearm, and Wow. So after all that, the Suns get a stop on the other end. Then they take it down with Nurkic still down there, having just gotten to his feet. Yeah. And he had the wherewithal to take it to the rim. And here's the thing. Rudy Gobert has very, been very outspoken this year on, on plays just like that. You know, guys boxing him out. You know, and he com he's complaining that they're they're hitting his knees. So for someone that that is complaining about these kind of plays and he, he he makes them like that you know referees need to be more aware of that Nurkic's first free throw was hard off the back rim second one went halfway down and then popped off the cylinder and Anderson grabbed it for the T-Wolves he has it on the right wing on offense now Suns by 14 we're 90 seconds into the second quarter and now we're going to get a whistle as Mike Conley was setting up to shoot a three and it's going to be a foul on Bull yeah grabbing uh, Rudy Gobert on the screen there first foul on Bull and Conley set to inbound on the near sideline. Sun's doing a real nice job switching. They're communicating well. They're not, not getting beat off the dribble. Kyle Anderson on the dribble. He takes it to the rim. Can't get the running left-hander. And the rebound taken by Beal. Ahead, it's O'Neal. Right wing three, short. Rebound tipped twice. McLaughlin saves it, and Anderson's able to get it for the Wolves. So they have it two minutes into the second quarter. Down 14. Anderson around a screen from Gobert. We're going to get another whistle and a foul away from the ball, and Bradley Beal's going to pick up his third personal. Wow. And again, it's another another hold of, of Rudy Gobert on that high pick and roll. Uh, he was working that with Kyle Anderson. Beal grabbed Gobert and now will grab a seat on the bench because Grayson Allen's going to replace him due to those three personal fouls. Beal leading all scores with 11 points tonight. We talked so much about him sacrificing his offense. Yeah. But tonight he's come out shooting and hitting. Five for five. Unfortunately, also fouling. Picked up his third. Now Gobert gets away with a walk, feeds McLaughlin. Right corner, it goes to Anderson. Penetrates around Nurkic into the lane. Euro step, gives to Conley, who steps to his right, shoots a three, and missed it off the backboard. What a defensive sequence by the Suns. Closing out, forcing them to dribble off their spots. Now Nurkic dribbles top of the arc. He gets it knocked loose, and a foul called on Minnesota. I believe Rudy Gobert is going to pick this one up. That's his second foul. And the second team foul on the Wolves. Kevin Durant back onto the floor, replacing Eric Gordon. So Durant, Nurkic, Allen, Bowl, and O'Neal. The five in white. KD inbounding to Nurkic. 14 on the shot clock. Nine and a half minutes left in the first half. Suns by 14. Allen gets open left wing. He'll drill the three. Grayson Allen, two for three from downtown. And he lifts the Suns back up 17, equaling their biggest advantage of the night, 37 to 20. Set a good screen, confusion on the defense, and he gets open. 
Alexander Walker on the dribble feeds Anderson right elbow. He'll stop his dribble at the dotted line. They work it back to Conley in between the rings. Seven on the shot clock. Mike Conley dribble drive got poked away by Bull. Ball gets knocked out of bounds off of Conley and the Suns defense comes up big again. Yeah, Bull Bull is changing shots. Uh, he's guarding uh, Kyle Anderson right now. He usually shoots those when he gets in the lane. Bull's making him think about it and pass it. Hasn't taken a shot yet, Bull, but he's definitely affected the game. Is now Durant got it knocked away, but it went right to Nurkic. He misses the bunny, and the rebound's taken the other way. McLaughlin open for three. He missed it, and Allen able to climb the ladder for the rebound. Bring it the other way for the Suns. Right to left. Grayson Allen comes across the timeline. 8.38 left to go. Quarter number two. Suns 37. T-Wolves 20. Second meeting between these two. Suns handled them in the first meeting, but it was four months ago nearly. Now Durant gets it poked away again, but it goes right to Grayson Allen this time. Four on the shot clock. He penetrates, stops, turns, right hand hook shot up and in over Jordan McLaughlin. Yeah, another small guard that Grayson Allen gets in the paint, shoots right over the top. Suns by 19, their biggest lead. Grayson Allen with eight. Here's Alexander Walker trying to answer, and he does. Rattled home the three from the right side. Nikhil Alexander Walker, two for two from downtown off the bench. Has six for the Wolves, and it's 39 23. Now Durant gets open, drives to the lane, and jams it with the right hand off a beautiful pocket pass from Yusuf Nurkic, and a timeout for Chris Finch and Minnesota. 41 23, the Suns on top. 7.56 left to go in quarter number two. Suns fans, get in on the action with Van Duel. America's number one sports book. Download the app now for your chance to score on every play from the opening tip off until the final basket. And with quick bets, you don't even have to wait the whole game to get a W. All on an app that's safe, secure, and super easy to use. Make every moment more with FanDuel, official sports book partner of the Phoenix Suns. 21 plus and present in Arizona. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Next Step or text Next Step to 53342. We love Suns basketball, the alley-oops, the no-look passes, and the buzzer beaters. As a proud partner of the Phoenix Suns, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arizona will provide you with a lot to love, too. We know health insurance can get complicated. We get it. Our job is to help make it easy so you can be your healthiest. We're right here in Arizona. We love the Suns. We love Arizona. We are Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arizona. What's inside you? Is it strength? Is it speed? Is it knowledge of the game? Unlocking the greatness inside you means digging deeper, running faster, and going further than you can on your own. Banner Sports Medicine High Performance Center trains the athlete in all of us with technology, techniques, and hands-on experience customized to you. See what you're capable of by unlocking the greatness inside of you. Dan Bickley, Vince Morata, Bickley and Morata Mornings. I love this show. This is the greatest show in the history of radio. Ron Wolfley, Luke Lipinski, Wolf and Luke Middays. Don't waste all your best material this early in the show. Boom! Because I want people to keep listening. Dave Burns, John Gambadoro, Burns and Gambo Afternoons. Are you ready for this? All right, let's go. Arizona Sports is the local sports leader and the only place you can watch, read, and listen to Arizona's biggest sports personalities on 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. The Phoenix Suns play here. Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. All right, it's time to check out the PayPal item of the game. Head to suns.com slash IOG. Check it out. It's the Phoenix Suns golfer hat. You can shop that and all the latest Suns styles online or in person at the Phoenix Suns team shop located on the north side of the Footprint Center. Right now, Suns up 18, 41 to 23, 7.56 left to play in the first half. What do you like most so far? I just like the way that they're, they're consistent tonight. Won the first quarter 32 to 20. They come out here to start the second quarter, 9-3. to three. They've got six guys in the scoring column. The, the assists are up there already, 13 assists on 15 made buckets. And right now the uh, fans in attendance uh, giving a salute to multi-gold medal 
swimming virtuoso Michael Phelps is in That's the house. That's an understatement. <laughs> I just forgot how many he's won. <laughs> I would have given you the actual number. Here's Mike Conley on the dribble. Gives it to Alexander Walker. A three in the right corner goes for Nikhil Alexander Walker, who's made all three he's shot off the bench, and he's been the shining star for the T-Wolves, who cut the lead to 15. 41-26, seven and a half minutes to go in the half. Allen dribbling on the right wing. Gets a pick from Durant. He slips it, and Allen drives left elbow. Keeps coming to the rim. Gets it blocked away by Nas Reed. And here comes Conley into the forecourt for the T-Wolves. Bounces left side to Morris. He dribbles against Royce O'Neal. Back to Conley between the rings. Right wing, it goes to Alexander Walker, the hot hand. He'll take the step back, then lean in and miss the runner. Bull bothered that shot and then got the rebound. Yeah, he sure did. Grayson Allen brings it on the left side. Gives to Durant, and he holds against Mike Conley. Now he backs him down, feeds O'Neal. Right corner, Allen fakes the three, takes it baseline. Floater too strong off the rim. And here comes Jaden McDaniels driving the other direction. Threw a pass in between Alexander Walker and Morris, and it goes right out of bounds. Yeah, threw it to the first row. Another turnover. That's 11 already for yeah, Minnesota. Yeah, Sun's doing a nice job. And again, it's the, the pressure. It's the consistency of their switching. Really have to be, uh, be be on board with it. And the Suns are just doing a better job defensively. Durant double team to the right baseline. They rotate it to Bull, top of the arc. Fakes the three, drives, floats one up from the free throw line short. Rebound, walk. Walker brings it the other way, drives past Allen, runs one up with the left hand, too strong, and Durant grabs it off the window. KD, bounce past the Bull, he'll jam it with both hands. What a feed from Kevin Durant, and how about Bull Bull running the floor? Yeah, the run out was impressive as well. Both those guys started inside the paint on the other end, just out sprinted the, the T Wolves up the court. First two on the night for Bull off the bench. Now Reed driving on Nurkic, stops at the dotted line, puts it up and in, and, but. Wipe it away. It's a travel called on Nas Reed, and he doesn't like that call. He tried that. Uh, I think that was a Kyle Anderson inspired slow step. Yep. And he just slowed it down even more and then dragged that yeah, yep. back foot, and that's why he got called for the travel. So, Suns get it on another Minnesota Tim Timberwolf turnover, and it is 43-26, Phoenix with the ball. Midway through quarter number two, Durant drives to the left block, fades and misses off the back iron this time. KD with 11 points on four of six now from the floor. Edwards stepping into a three left side. He buried it over Bowles closeout. Anthony Edwards with his second trifecta. He's got 11 to lead Minnesota, and the Suns get a timeout. 535 left to go in the first half. They lead it 43 29. Chick fil A Valley restaurants continue their charitable efforts in partnership with the Phoenix Suns to fight against hunger in Arizona. For every assist the Suns make this season, Chick fil A will donate. $25 to Phoenix Suns Phoenix Mercury Foundation. In addition, Chick-fil-A will also provide meals to underserved communities in the Valley on behalf of Phoenix Suns Phoenix Mercury Foundation throughout the season. Feed the ball, feed the Valley. See the impact we are making at suns.com slash Valley Assist. Footprint exists to create a healthier planet. Their mission is to provide sustainable packaging solutions to reduce the planet's reliance on plastics. They help fans in the Footprint Center and consumers in Arizona and beyond make plastic-free choices to help the planet and their health. Footprint is based right here in the Valley, and they're proud to be the sustainability partner of the Phoenix Suns. Together, we can change the world, one footprint at a time. Learn more at FootprintUS.com. That's FootprintUS.com. Footprint. Healthy planet. Healthy people. NBA fans, when there's a home game you don't want to miss, Ticketmaster's got you covered. As the official ticket marketplace of the Phoenix Suns, Ticketmaster has a wide selection of tickets available and at a great value so every fan can score. Whether you're looking for tickets to next month's game or tonight's game, Ticketmaster is the place to go to get seats to cheer on your team at Footprint Center. Get Suns tickets today at Ticketmaster.com slash Suns. Is this house a good price compared to others in the area? Are prices going up or down? If I don't make an offer right this very moment, will I miss my chance? These are just some of the questions a home buyer might ask. And these are the sorts of questions an agent who is a Realtor can help answer. Because Realtors have the expertise, data, and access to specialty training to help you navigate the process of buying a home. They provide support, guidance, and have your back every step of the way. That's what Realtors do, because that's who we are. 
Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. The home of Phoenix Suns basketball, Arizona Sports 98.7, and the Arizona Sports app. I want to take a minute to congratulate Coach Todd Fazio, head coach of the boys' basketball team from Highland High School, for winning the April Coach of the Month Award. Phoenix Suns Phoenix Mercury Foundation acknowledges all the hard work you put in as the boys' basketball coach. Thank you for positively impacting the student-athletes' lives and enhancing the game of basketball throughout the Valley to Coach Fazio. As we welcome you back inside Footprint Center, Suns up 14, 43-29. we got 5.35 to play in the first half, TK. Yeah, it's been a nice first half so far. You got 535. You want to win the quarter again. Right now they're up 11-9 after a little 6-2 run by uh, by Minnesota. But uh, continue the way you're playing on offense with the movement and sharing the ball and try to close out this quarter well. Booker bringing it right to left. Gets around a screen from Eubanks and dribbles right side. Try to lob pass to Eubanks, but it was off the mark. Anthony Edwards gets the steal, and here come the T-Wolves on a live ball turnover. Edwards on the drive, runs one up and in with the left hand. 43-31, Minnesota yeah. cuts it to 12. Soft lobs against this team are not going to work. They're too athletic. Booker dribbling left side. Gives to Grayson Allen and gets it back with 14 on the timer. Five minutes to go in the first half. Booker, left-hand dribble. Gives to Allen. Right side, three on the way. Yes, sir. Grayson Allen lines it up, and he knocks another one down. His third on four tries. 11 points for Allen, equaling Durant and Beal on the night. 46-31. Suns on top. 4.44 to go. Here's Nas Reed lining up a long three. That one's off the mark. Rebound taken by Durant. And the Suns have the basketball up by 15 points. Booker dribbling against Reed. Crosses him over. Then takes it to the right side. Fades and he got the roll. Devin Booker, the mid-range jumper falls. He's got seven on the night. That's an automatic green light when Nas Reed picks him up in transition with Devin having the ball. You could see his eyes get big when he saw that matchup as now Edwards ducks underneath Booker, hands it to Reed under the basket. He's double teamed, throws a pass deflected by Allen and stolen by Durant. Another Sun steal, bringing it into the forecourt for Booker on the right wing. Four minutes left to go in the half. Suns by 17, 48-31. And Devin Booker dribbling. Near midcourt on the Suns logo, around a screen from Allen. Now penetrates on McDaniels, who cuts him off with five to shoot. Booker puts it on the deck, gets to the free throw line, lost the handle, but it went to Eubanks, who turns and is fouled going up with it. Johnny on the spot. But again, a lot of physical contact. That fouls on Edwards. That's his second foul. And that is going to send Eubanks to the free throw line. As not only was he Johnny on the spot, but uh, good recognition of the, the shot clock yep. winding down because he just turned right away and got that shot up, as you mentioned. And now he gets a free throw up and it hits the back That's iron oh. off the top of the board. And then TK hoping that it would get one of the craziest rolls potentially ever in free throw shooting history. Yeah. But he didn't get that. Bowl, bowl, another, uh, you know, only had two shots, made one of them. So two points, but the three rebounds and changing shots while he's on the floor. You know, they, they, they don't have a stat for it, but uh, good job by Bull Bull while he was in that game. If they did, he would be a league leader. He'd, he'd be up there. Well, he'd especially be up there. per minute, if, if yeah, that was sure. a stat. 49-31, one out of two free throws good for Eubanks, who has his first point on the night. And the Suns are up 18. Playing defense, Edwards dribbling on the right wing. It's around Booker, comes back to his left and gives left corner to McDaniels for three. That rims off. Rebound taken by Gobert, though. He'll go back up with it and get it in. Rudy Gobert, a little right-hand push shot. And he gets the bucket to go, his first of the night. 49-33, Suns with 3.10 left to go. Watching a close one right now with the Mavericks and Warriors tied in the final 12 seconds. They're in Dallas. As we continue to scoreboard watch. Here's Allen getting a three on the left wing. That one's too strong off the back iron. Rebounded by McDaniels. Suns by 16 with under three minutes to play in the first half. Monte Morris on the right wing. Gives to Edwards. And he gets a pick from Gobert. Doesn't shoot it. Bounces to McDaniels. Top of the arc. He'll penetrate on Beal. Get away with an extra step. Only for a matter of a second before they actually whistle him for a travel. I thought he was going to get away with it. Then came the whistle and an obvious travel on Jaden McDaniels. Yeah, and again, Bradley Beal was solid defense. Hands out wide, showing the officials that that his hands aren't on the player. Keeps his keeps his chest in front of him. 
We're getting a technical foul called. Someone deep in the bench. He's pointing Ooh, behind someone behind the bench. The bench. John Goble just calls a technical on the Timberwolves assistant coaches. And it's going to be Devin Booker to shoot it. And here, here's the thing. That assistant coach has to be chirping because John Goble was at the other end of the floor at the free throw line. So someone has been on him all night long. He must have a pretty loud voice as well to have him pick it up from that far away. 2.41 left in the half. Suns get the free throw from Booker and are up 17. 50 to 33. Book's got eight points, six assists on the night. Here comes Beal into the forecourt. Guarded by Monte Morris. Gives it to Durant on the left wing with Edwards on him. Back to Beal. Now right side. They get it to Booker. Beyond the arc with Gobert defending. Nurkic posting in the lane. Lost the handle. Tapped it over to Booker, but it's stolen away by McDaniels. He'll drive and give to McLaughlin. Hanging. He's blocked by Nurkic underneath, but a whistle and a foul. Nurk thought he got it clean, but he's going to get called for the personal. That's his second. Yeah, that was pretty good defense. I don't know if Frank's going to challenge it. Doesn't appear to be the case. Jordan McLaughlin's going to go to the line for two shots. Wow. His first attempts of the night from the free throw line. He has missed all three of his field goal attempts that have all come from three. And he hits the first from the strike. McLaughlin in his fifth season out of USC was undrafted back in 2018, but has found a home with the T-Wolves yeah. and played pretty well for them in his bench role. USC going through some changes in their basketball program. Andy Enfield leaves, goes to SMU. Bronny checks out. Yeah. See who, who, who they hired? I did not. Mr. Musselman from Arkansas. No, Tom Musselman. Eric, no, Eric, 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 Musselman. Eric, Musselman. Eric Musselman. Yes, Eric. He's done a heck of a job in the college game. He has. All right, Suns get the ball after the free throws were made on the other end. And now Beal loses the handle. McLaughlin, who just made those free throws, gets the steal. Drives on Allen, then wraps around and gives it to Edwards between the circles. Under two minutes to go in the second. McDaniels open for three. In and out. No good. And the rebound wrestled between Grayson Allen and Yusuf Nurk. And, and again, that was a Nurk won that wrestling match. A, a, another one of those instances where Grayson Allen was in there helping while Nurk was uh, locked up with Rudy Gobert. Nice play by Grayson Allen. Yes, it was. Booker into the forecourt. Gets a pick from Allen. Now Monte Morris switches on him. Booker crosses over. Tries a deep three. Gets knocked down. No whistle. And the three doesn't go. Morris gets the rebound. Off to the races. He puts it up. No, but a foul called on the other end on the Suns. And Monty Morris is going to go to the free throw line. Booker, Booker picking up his first as he grazed Morris's face coming down with that left hand. Meanwhile, in Dallas, the Mavericks able to get a game-winning jumper and beat the Warriors 108-106 to in the final seconds there. Two out of three, ain't bad. So the Mavericks will keep their spot at number five. And meanwhile, the Timberwolves will... Get a free throw from Monte Morris. Missed off the rim. So the Suns stay up by 15 with a minute 24 to go. First half action here at Footprint Center. Coming up at the break, Tim Ring's going to have your NBA scoreboard. He's got his hands full with 12 games on the docket, including some big ones that are affecting the Western Conference standings, including that one we just talked about. Minute 20 to go as the free throw goes. He made one out of two. Morris did. And it's 50 to 36 Suns. Beal puts on the brakes against Morris and feeds Booker off to Nurkic. A right hand hook shot. Hits the front iron and creeps over. Falls through for Nurk. He's got four on the night. And yeah. the Suns are up 16. Attack the shot blocker. The big's got to be open. And Nurk does a nice job with that little short push shot. Now another steal. Durant took it away from Edwards. Gives it ahead to Booker in transition. He throws to Grayson Allen left wing. Penetrates and jams it home with both hands. Grayson Allen looked at it. Nobody picked him up and he took it right to the rim. It's 54-36. Suns on top. Allen with 13 to lead the way. Booker just picked up his eighth assist of the night. Now McLaughlin dribbling top of the arc. Gets to the free throw line. Jumps one up and gets the roll. And Jordan McLaughlin comes off the bench. He's got four. 54-38, 30 seconds left to go here in the half. Suns have led throughout, including by as many as 19. And now down to 22 seconds, a difference of 12 with the shot clock. Beal dribbling out the logo, gives to Nurkic in the lane. He gives to a wide open Durant, right corner three. He got it. Great awareness by Nurkic. Catch, felt the defender in front of him, 
knew someone had to be open in that corner and found them. That someone was Kevin Durant, who leads all scorers with 14. Thanks to that three, and the Suns equal their biggest lead at 19. Here's Jaden McDaniels on the drive. Two seconds left. He finds Morris for three, and he gets it at the buzzer. So Monte Morris cuts that lead to 16 at the break. It's the Suns 57 and the Timberwolves 41. Stay tuned. Tim Ring's NBA scoreboard coming up. We'll come back with all the first half stats and get you ready for second half action live from Footprint Center on Sustainability Night. We'll see if the Suns can sustain this lead. They're up 57-41 at the break. Fans, the NBA playoffs are on their way. But before they begin, it's the SoFi NBA Play-In Tournament. Winner advances, the loser goes home. Eight teams buy for the last two spots in each conference. Curry, bang! Some teams will get in. Or die. Others, Shake. they're coming up short. Forget about X and O. Who wants it more? It's now or never. The playoffs are calling, but first, you got to win to get in. Shoot. The SoFi NBA Play-In Tournament, April 16th through 19th on ESPN and TNT. Kevin, you look great today. Much better than last year, I might add. Yeah, EJ, Nick's menswear is an absolute game changer. How so? I've been buying suits for a long time, and I am blown away every time I go into Nick's. It was easy. The selection was unmatched, and honestly, they just took great care of me. Nick's was one of the best experiences I've ever had. If Nick's menswear can make me look this good, imagine what they can do for you. Looks like it's time for me to freshen up my look. Perfect. There are five Arizona locations. So there's bound to be one near you. Chulet Wellness, Scottsdale Concierge Psychiatry and Therapy is the premier destination for concierge mental health services in the Valley. Dr. Brooke Chulet, a board-certified psychiatrist, is passionate about helping athletes, elite performers, and executives reach their full potential, just like she did for the Phoenix Suns and Phoenix Mercury. She is not only a board-certified psychiatrist, but she is a renowned leader in performance psychiatry. Through personalized and evidence-based concierge mental health Healthcare, Dr. Chalet helps her clients and their families thrive in all aspects of life. This concierge level of care is an asset to individuals and companies looking to promote a culture of wellness and the ability to reach their full potential. Looking to focus on your wellness and achieve peak performance? Dr. Chalet, the performance psychiatrist, can help you become a mental health all-star. Book a consultation at choletwellness.com to get started. Catch over 70 live game broadcasts, alternate broadcast streams, and original content with Suns Live, the all-new streaming platform now available to fans across Arizona. Watch the way you want on your computer, mobile web, and connected devices. Subscriptions cost just $14.99 per month. Sign up today at live.suns.com. It's halftime with the Phoenix Suns. Suns Halftime, a review of first half action and special sports features. All right, halftime at Footprint Center, an impressive first half for the Phoenix Suns taking on the current Number one team in the Western Conference, the Minnesota Timberwolves, and all Suns in that opening half. They lead it by 16, 57, 41. Led it by 19 on a three-pointer by Kevin Durant with 13 seconds to play in the half. But a three-pointer by Monte Morris uh, at the buzzer. Cut that lead to 16. And that is where we stand here at the break, 57-41. Uh, the Suns with the 16-point halftime lead over the Minnesota Timberwolves. Kevin Durant leading all scores with 14. Grayson Allen has 13, 3 for 5 from beyond the arc for Grayson Allen. Good first half for him. Bradley Beal battling foul trouble has 11 points in limited minutes. Devin Booker has 8 uh, for the Suns. Anthony Edwards not shooting well uh, for the Timberwolves, just 4 for 10 uh, in that opening half, but leads uh, the Wolves in scoring with 13. Not getting a lot of help from his fellow starters, though, uh, was Anthony Edwards in that opening half. Uh, the other four starters combined for only 6 points. It was the Timberwolves bench actually somewhat keeping him in this game, and I say somewhat uh, because they trailed it by 19 points late in the second quarter but the T-Wolves bench uh, 22 points uh, in that opening half the Suns led this game by 12 after 132 to 20 uh, behind nine first quarter points from Durant and nine first quarter points uh, from Bradley Beal uh, the much ballyhooed Timberwolves defense uh, outdone by the Suns defense in that opening half T-Wolves shot only 36 percent 
from the field. Halftime score again, 57-41. The Suns lead the Timberwolves uh, by 16. All right, busy night in the NBA. A lot of scoreboard watching this time of year, and rightfully so. Man, the Suns got some big-time help tonight down in New Orleans from, of all teams, the San Antonio Spurs, who had already shut down Devin Vassell and Jeremy Sohan for the season. They go into New Orleans tonight, and they somehow beat the Pelicans 111-106. Uh, to 106. Wembenyama had 17, 12, and 9. Now, the Pelicans did not play with Zion Williamson, but still, uh, they've got to be extremely disappointed down there uh, in New Orleans. So if the Suns can win this game uh, tonight, they'll put some more distance between themselves and the Pelicans trying to stay out of that play-in tournament. Uh, the Mavericks, uh, the Suns are trying to catch them for fifth. Uh, they had an outside chance of doing that, but a big win uh, for the Mavericks tonight. They get a jumper from P.J. Washington with four seconds to go uh, to beat the Warriors 108-106 the final there. The Celtics uh, get a last-second shot to beat the Kings, so that's a uh, help in Boston tonight. 101-100 the final there. The Pacers all over the Thunder tonight. Siakam had 21, 126-112. Thunder were shorthanded in that game. Second quarter score, uh, Clippers, a game of note in the Western Conference, uh, all, tie, all, all over the Jazz, 41-16 uh, the final there. Raptors beat the Bucks. What is going on in Milwaukee? That game was in Milwaukee. 117, 111 the final there. Heat over the Rockets, 119, 114. Uh, the Bulls somehow beat the Knicks tonight, 108, 100. Crazy time of year in the NBA. DeAndre Ayton had 34 and 13 as the Blazers beat the Wizards in D.C., 108, 102 the final there. Uh, Brandon Miller had 32 as the Hornets beat the Magic. Speaking of crazy finals, 124, 115. And the Grizzlies tonight over the Detroit Pistons, 108. Uh, to 90. Once again, our halftime score 57 41. The Suns lead the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm Tim Ring uh, here at the half. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with the second half and John Bloom and Tim Kempton right here on the Phoenix Suns Radio Network. Chule Wellness, Scottsdale Concierge Psychiatry and Therapy is the premier destination for concierge mental health services in the Valley. Dr. Brooke Chule, a board-certified psychiatrist, is passionate about helping athletes, elite performers, and executives reach their full potential, just like she did for the Phoenix Suns and Phoenix Mercury. She is not only a board-certified psychiatrist, but she is a renowned leader in performance psychiatry. Through personalized and evidence-based concierge mental health care, Dr. Chalet helps her clients and their families thrive in all aspects of life. This concierge level of care is an asset to individuals and companies looking to promote a culture of wellness and the ability to reach their full potential. Looking to focus on your wellness and achieve peak performance? Dr. Chalet, the performance psychiatrist, can help you become a mental health all-star. Book a consultation at C-H-O-U-L-E-T wellness.com to get started. Body at the rim. Kelvin Johnson. It takes 17,071 Suns fans to sell out Footprint Center every Suns game. Be a part of the moment. Be here as your Suns take on the Pelicans. Sunday, April 7th at 3 p.m. Featuring a special appearance by Go, the Gorilla, and all his closest friends. Secure your seats today at suns.com slash ticks. First Bank presents the future of business banking technology. Human beings giving you access to 24-7 customer service, empathy, and someone who actually cares. Additional features include laughing at your jokes, offering you coffee, and a real beating heart. To see a human being for yourself, visit efirstbank.com business or go to a branch to meet one in real life. The technology you need and the humans you want. First Bank, business banking for good. Member FDIC. Hey, Suns fans, get ready for tip-off. Be sure to grab an ice-cold, refreshing Dos Equis lager and make the most of game day with your real ones. Whether you're hanging out at the bar with friends or watching the Suns dominate the paint from the stands, Dos Equis is there for it all. So buy a cold, crisp Dos Equis and raise one with a real one on game day. Dos Equis, proud partner of the Phoenix Suns. Enjoy Dos Equis responsibly. Copyright 2023. Imported by Cervezas Mexicanas. White Plains, New York.
Ride to the game in style with Desert Rose Worldwide Transportation, the preferred transportation partner of the beautiful Footprint Center. Their premium fleet includes sedans, SUVs, sprinter vans, minibuses, and, of course, beautiful stretch limousines. Whether it is a corporate event, special occasion, or a safe and stylish ride to see the suns in action, Desert Rose will make every effort to ensure your ride is memorable. Visit DesertRoseLimos.com and book your ride. In the next 30 seconds, 20 couples will be planning their wedding, and as they're thinking about the name change, the registry, and the whole public, I do. They'll realize we've got to sell our houses. We can find a new one. And where are we going to live in the meantime? Not with your folks. No worries. Avoid double moves and double mortgages. Seamlessly sell your house and buy your next one with Open Door. Start with a competitive offer at opendoor.com slash offer now. Eligibility and offer price may vary. Open Door is represented by Open Door Brokerage Inc. License 02061130 in California and Open Door Brokerage LLC in its other markets. This has been the Phoenix Suns Halftime Report on the Suns Basketball Network. KMVP FM Phoenix, Arizona Sports, the local sports leader on the Arizona Sports app. March is the month to take the fast lane to Mountain America Credit Union and get a low rate auto loan. Conquer the road with rates as low as 6.49% APR on new or used vehicles or refinance your current ride. You'll be on your way in no time with the quick and easy online application at macu.com slash auto or visit your nearest Mountain America branch. Terms and conditions apply. Loans on approved credit. Limited time offer. Offer can change or be withdrawn at any time. Offer ends March 31st, 2024. What's inside you? Is it strength? Is it speed? Is it knowledge of the game? Unlocking the greatness inside you means digging deeper, running faster, and going further than you can on your own. Banner Sports Medicine High Performance Center trains the athlete in all of us with technology, techniques, and hands-on experience customized to you. See what you're capable of by unlocking the greatness inside of you. The Phoenix Suns are going to be lighting up the scoreboard all season long, so don't blink. You're not going to want to miss any of the action. Since 1999, Dr. Jay Schwartz has been the team eye doctor for your Phoenix Suns. With locations in Glendale, Scottsdale, and Mesa, Dr. Schwartz would love to help you improve your vision so you can see every fast break, dunk, three-pointer, and behind-the-back pass with precision. The Schwartz Laser Eye Center offers the best in vision correction, including LASIK, Evo ICL, and the Clear Lens Exchange. So call 480-483-EYES or go online at teameye.com. You're at the game. Pizza sounds great, so you buy one and take a bite, and yeah, it is great. That's the experience you'll have once again this season, thanks to Spinato's, the official pizza of the Phoenix Suns and Phoenix Mercury. Hi, it's Vince Murata, and for the second season, you can experience Valley favorite Spinato's pizza at the arena. Spinato's is celebrating 50 years in the Valley with six locations, including their newest at Agritopia in Gilbert. Spinato's Pizzeria and Family Kitchen, food that brings people together. More info at spinatospizzeria.com. This copyrighted broadcast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the express written consent of the NBA. The Phoenix Suns play here. Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. Halftime here at Footprint Center and the Suns by 16 points, 57-41, leading the way. Want to let you know, small business owners in the Valley, if you're looking for a remodel, you got a great opportunity here. Enter the ImageCraft Business Branding Sweepstakes for a chance to win a complimentary ImageCraft service up to $5,000 in value. And for more information on how to enter, just go to visitsuns.com. I take that back. Just go to suns.com <laughs> slash promotions and find out how you can get a remodel for your small business. Now, Suns do not need a remodel on how they're playing so far tonight, Tim Kempton, as they lead it by 16, 57 to 41. They had just equaled their biggest lead at 19 before Monte Morris finished the half with the three at the buzzer, but uh, pretty solid overall effort. Yeah, I think solid's the word, John Bloom. Solid, consistent, nothing crazy. You know, just keep on playing good, fundamentally sound, solid ball. They've got 18 assists already on their 21 made buckets. They do have eight, eight turnovers, but they've only given up four points off them. They haven't been live ball turnovers, so then they've got back and 
done a nice job defensively. They got three guys in double figures. They've got the bench involved. Eric Gordon, Drew Eubanks, and Bowl, Bowl all in the scoring column. Solid first half by the Phoenix Suns. And again, that's a look at some of the halftime stats presented by FanDuel. Make every moment more. And the Suns trying to do just that as they have won their last two games. They won three out of four, TK. And we take a look at what's coming up with our friends at Four Peaks Brewing. After tonight, Suns stay home for just two more home games. That's all that's left in the regular season, folks. They've got uh, the New Orleans Pelicans Sunday at 3, followed by the Los Angeles Clippers Tuesday night at 7. Those are the only two chances you have left to see these Suns at home in the regular season. And then uh, they'll head on their final road trip. And that starts Wednesday night. So remember, it's a back-to-back -back home and home with the Clippers. They're here against the Clips Tuesday night in L.A. against the Clips Wednesday, then to Minnesota. But in between, they're going to face the Sacramento Kings. So that'll be a Friday night in Sacramento, then a Sunday in Minneapolis against these same Timberwolves. Now, we've seen the T-Wolves twice. In the first matchup, the Suns took control early and won it 133-115. to Here tonight, Suns took control early again. They scored the first 15 points of the night exactly. and, uh, and lead it by 16 at the break. And as you mentioned, now it's just about keeping that up, isn't it? Exactly. You, you, you see what you can do against these guys. You see what's the, the the magic potion is it's it's ball movement. It's sharing the ball It's it, it's getting up the floor playing with pace. They've done a nice job. Uh, they've got 13 fast break points as well uh, They're attacking the paint 26 there. So keep on the, the that aggressive style uh, of, of basketball and just keep on keep on winning quarters what you'd like to see is for them, you and I can talk about what's coming up. Just lock in game to game. Every game that they play from here on out is the most important one. Absolutely, and right now it is a 16-point halftime advantage for the Suns, 57 to 41. Behind 14 from Kevin Durant, 13 from Grayson Allen, 11 from Beal. Booker with eight assists to go with his eight points. Yusuf Nurkic absolutely stuffing the stat sheet. Four points, five rebounds, five assists, two steals and a block. And how about the Suns with nine steals as a team in that first half? What they're really doing well is they're not giving up once someone uh, beats them off the dribble. They're they're uh, deflecting the ball from behind into another teammate, and they're, they're getting off to the races because of it, not giving up even after they get beat. So Minnesota will start the third quarter, working right to left, and we are underway. Anthony Edwards brings it up the right wing and hands it to Gobert. Now Conley between the circles. He'll penetrate, swing it back to McDaniels, top of the arc. He drives on Allen, gets underneath the hoop, throws a tough pass for Conley to handle. He saves it to Gobert, who misses the jumper at the free throw line, and Nurkic is there for rebound number six. Comes into tonight's game, seventh in the NBA, averaging 11 rebounds a game. He's been phenomenal all season on the glass. Now Booker gets a pass stolen away by Edwards. He'll drive one-on-one -on -one against Book. Euro step in the lane, and then he gets the layup to go. Well, that's not the way you wanted to start the second half. A turnover leading to easy points in the break for the Timberwolves. Edwards slapping his hands, firing himself up as he's now 5 of 11 from the floor, 15 to lead all scores. Nurkic gets a bounce pass from Beal. Up fake on Gobert, then gets it blocked. He gets it back, though, on the baseline. Still eight on the shot clock. Nurkic gives Gobert a little shove. Gives him another up fake. Misses a flip shot over his back. Gets it back. They collide and an offensive foul called on Yusuf Nurkic, who turns and looks at his coaches and says, you might want to look at that. No, I don't think they're going to look at that. Nurkic just trying to do a little bit too much on that play individually. Gobert had his hands all over him, though. He had his arm on his back. There was a lot of contact underneath with Nurkic grabbing a bunch of rebounds. He's now up to eight. Just can't hit the close-range shot. 57-43, Suns by 14. T-Wolves with the ball, working right to left. Conley gives to Reed on the left wing. He'll dribble around Nurk, throw up a shot off the board, no good. Rebound batted by Allen into the hands of Nurkic. Ahead comes Booker, driving on McDaniels. Right corner, Durant, three on the way. In and out, no. Booker slaps it back to Allen, who takes it to the free throw line and then feeds Nurkic trailing at the top of the arc. He lobs to Durant, right block. He'll pull up for the jumper and drill it. Right over Mike Conley, Kevin Durant. Knocks it down. He's got 16 and another nice recognition from Yusuf Nurkic. His yeah, sixth assist. Started again with a nice push. Getting getting the Timberwolves defense back on their heels. Now Gobert misses a dunk on an easy lob from Mike Conley. And the Suns bring it back. Here's Beal. Right wing three. He got it. 
Bradley Beal from downtown equals the Suns' biggest lead, 62-43. 10.08 to play quarter number three and a timeout for the Timberwolves. We'll take it with them and come back after these messages. First Bank presents the future of business banking technology, human beings. Giving you access to 24-7 customer service, empathy, and someone who actually cares. Additional features include laughing at your jokes, offering you coffee, and a real beating heart. To see a human being for yourself, visit efirstbank.com slash business or go to a branch to meet one in real life. The technology you need and the humans you want. First Bank. Business banking for good. Member FDIC. We love Suns basketball, the alley-oops, the no-look passes, and the buzzer beaters. As a proud partner of the Phoenix Suns, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arizona will provide you with a lot to love, too. We know health insurance can get complicated. We get it. Our job is to help make it easy so you can be your healthiest. We're right here in Arizona. We love the Suns. We love Arizona. We are Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arizona. Cold Beers and Cheeseburgers is every Arizona sports fan's favorite neighborhood burger joint for the juiciest burgers, delicious stadium char dogs, and of course, every refreshing cold beer on the planet. Enjoy the lively atmosphere cheering on your sons at one of our 16 Cold Beers and Cheeseburgers locations throughout the valley. Order to go, buy a gift card for a friend, or find our upcoming events, special deals, and the location nearest you on our website, coldbeers.com. That's coldbeers.com. Progressive presents Renters MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Tom Kelly's Carbon Fiber Mountain Bike. Because more than riding his carbon fiber mountain bike, Tom loves telling people about his carbon fiber mountain bike. Friends, family, even a local barista knows about his carbon fiber mountain bike. And that's why Tom's carbon fiber mountain bike, if you haven't heard about it, is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. The home of Phoenix Suns basketball, Arizona Sports 98.7, and the Arizona Sports app. Uh, Timberwolves coach Chris Finch calling a quick timeout here in the third quarter after the Suns hit back-to-back shots to go up 19, 62, 43. We got 10 minutes, 8 seconds left to play third quarter action. And how about the night Bradley Beal's putting together, TK? Yeah, Bradley's doing a lot of good things uh, tonight. You look at his 14 points. You know, he's got a couple of rebounds. He's directing traffic out there. Hasn't missed a shot. Six for six from the floor. Just made his second three. And the Suns as a team are six out of 12 from downtown, shooting 50% there and 52% from the floor. The Timberwolves not near those numbers. 35% field goal shooting and 7 of 17 from deep. Now here come Mike Conley and the Wolves into the forecourt. Jaden McDaniels gets it left wing, guarded by Booker. Ten minutes left in the third. Suns by 19. Nas Reed now gets it on the left baseline and drives against Allen. Throws cross court, stolen by Book. He's going to cross over on Edwards, take him into the lane, hang and put the sh shot up short off the front iron. Booker got knocked down and is slow getting up. Meanwhile, on the other end, Conley firing a three in transition. That's no good. And Nurkic grabs his 11th rebound of the night. We'll bring it into the forecourt with the right-hand dribble and hand it off to Beal at the top of the circle. He finds Booker right wing. He's alone. He'll shoot the three. Missed it off the rim. Rebound top loose by Nurkic, and then Allen tips it over to Durant. He feeds Nurk in the lane. He'll scoop it up and in as he gets knocked down to the ground. But the Suns have their biggest lead of the night, 64-43. Nurkic with six points to go with those 11 boards and six assists. Now Reed, a little floater over Nurk is good from the left elbow, and Nas Reed counters that action he's got his first bucket 64 45 Suns nine minutes left to go quarter number three Booker directing traffic on the far side Durant comes to the near side and now Nurkic gets it at the top of the key waits for KD instead flips it to Allen he drives right baseline around Reed gets to the rim fouled as he misses the layup but he'll get to the free throw line Nas Reed went over the back and hit Grayson Allen yeah and another good read by Grayson Allen Nas Reed that's go. And all he did, he just tacked him right away, got by him, takes a hit from behind and gets the free throw line. Grayson's been excellent tonight, but this is his first time getting to the line where he is shooting 88% on the season. And Allen averaging 13.4 points per game. He's at 14 already as he hits that first free throw. And the 
the Suns really doing a great job of distributing the scoring tonight 14 from Allen 16 from Durant 14 from Beal and then Booker with eight Nurkic with six but both those guys doing a lot of other stuff in the stat sheet besides yeah, just love points. the balance from from this team when they get it going and start spreading it around passing it both free throws good by Allen speaking of passes 21 assists on the 24 buckets for the Suns tonight Anthony Edwards on the left wing guarded by Beal picks up his dribble and feeds Conley between the circles he rotates it right side Reed he'll penetrate then get it slapped away by Durant but a whistle and a foul we'll call a reach in foul on KD Durant picks up his third so now he Nurkic and Beal all with three fouls on the night and Nas Reed's gonna go to the free throw line for two shots and he is yet to go tonight and on the season shoots 75 percent first one rims around and drops for Reed the fifth year pro from LSU and native of Asbury New Jersey He's, uh, increased his workload because of Carl Anthony Towns being out but also really was improving the last couple of years for the T Wolves and was bound to get more minutes somehow yeah he was a big miss in the playoffs as well last that's right. last year Without both those bigs is now the second free throw misses off the back rim and the Suns grab it Beal brings it up now Nurkic holding at the top of the arc looks back to Beal right side three on the way He missed for the first time tonight now six out of seven from the floor and the rebound taken by Edwards Suns by 20 with 814 to go in the third Edwards on the drive puts one off the window No good rebound Durant here come the Suns in transition with numbers KD stops at the free throw line bounces to Booker who swings to an open Allen He couldn't handle the pass just took his eyes off of it and it went off his left hand out of bounds yeah, that's a that's a break you want back one-handed pass goes a little bit behind Grayson Allen that he's trying to flatten out Booker maybe a little unselfish that time he had a good look in the paint here's Conley lobbing to go bear for a good look but he can't hit it instead it's a foul on the Suns Nurkic picking up number four and that is Foul number two on the Suns in the quarter, and it was before the shot attempt from Gobert. So it'll be T Wolves ball side out with Anthony Edwards inbounding. He gets it to Conley on the near side. 12 on the shot clock. Mike Conley, left hand dribble, cross court to McDaniels on the right wing, penetrates, then throws to Gobert underneath. He got it knocked loose. It's still loose. Going up to get it is McDaniels. He fades and hits from the free throw line. Jaden McDaniels made the most of that because the shot clock was winding down. He had to get the shot up, and he did. 66 48 Suns, seven and a half to go. Quarter number three. Beal gets a pick from Durant on the left wing. Now looking to post KD up against Edwards. He gives it to him on the baseline. Back to the basket. Rotated to Booker. Now right side Allen. Fakes Gobert. Then gives to Beal. Left corner. It's Durant for three. No. Off the back iron. Good ball movement that time by the Suns. And KD got a good look. He just couldn't knock it down. Yeah, great possession. Love the ball movement. Love the decision making. Just as you said, didn't make the shot. Now Mike Conley doesn't make his shot in the lane as he faded from 10. And Nurkic with a solid. Solid box out on Gobert. A foul is called on Rudy going over the top. Yeah, and again, it may sound trite and trivial, but just a simple box out. Nice play by Nurk. Limits uh, the offensive possession of the Timberwolves. Get the ball going the other way. And here comes Beal around a Nurk pick. He dribbles to the right wing, and then Nurkic is going to get called for his fifth foul as John Goble calls the moving screen, and Yusuf arguing his case with the Suns coaching staff, and they're going to challenge that call on Nurk of a fifth personal foul, I believe. We got a timeout on the floor with Phoenix coaches challenge, challenging the offensive foul call on the floor. There you go. That was John Goble letting you know. And we'll take a break. 6.54 left in the third. It's the Sun 66, the Wolves 48. Crush your health and fitness goals. Join EOS Fitness today for as low as $9.99 per month. Get motivated with a personal trainer. Work out watching big screen movies in our exclusive movie EO cinema. And mix it up with our high energy group fitness classes, including cycling and strength training. Join now for as low as $9.99 per month or online at joineos.com. EOS Fitness. Better gym, better price. Valid on select membership types at participating locations.
Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member. For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. Footprint exists to create a healthier planet. Their mission is to provide sustainable packaging solutions to reduce the planet's reliance on plastics. They help fans in the Footprint Center and consumers in Arizona and beyond make plastic-free choices to help the planet and their health. Footprint is based right here in the Valley, and they're proud to be the sustainability partner of the Phoenix Suns. Together, we can change the world, one footprint at a time. Learn more at FootprintUS.com. That's FootprintUS.com. Footprint. Healthy planet. Healthy people. Oh, you didn't know? At Gila River Resorts and Casinos, no one does it better. So, play hard. Nice shot! Relax like a movie star. Party like a rock star. And dine like a king or a queen. However you do you. No one lets you take it to a legendary status like we do. Gila River Resorts and Casinos. You do you. The Phoenix Suns play here. Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. Following review, Nurkic does not come to a stop when trying to set a screen and does not give Conley an opportunity to come to a stop or avoid contact. The challenge is unsuccessful. There you go. That's our crew chief, John Goble, who just timed it perfectly, waiting for us to come back from break and let everybody know that uh, the challenge is unsuccessful for the Suns, who lead at 66-48. We've got 6.54 left to go. Quarter number three here at Footprint Center, and a new lineup of shows have just been announced to come to Footprint Center. 21 Pilots, Suicide Boys, the Black Keys, Heart, the Air One Worship Now Tour, and Andrea Pocelli all coming. There's no shortage of good times happening here in Phoenix. Ticket availability will vary. Just head to FootprintCenter.com for more info. Here are the T-Wolves on offense. Nas Reed driving through the lane, gets the runner to go off the window and in, and it's a 16-point Suns lead, 66-50. to Reed on the night with five for Minnesota. Booker brings it up the left wing. It's guarded by Jaden McDaniels. Got a lot of length there defensively. Booker around a pick from Eubanks. Swings to Allen on the right side. He's got Reed on him. Speaking of length, Allen on the drive. Got past Reed. Got knocked down and fouled. Couldn't get the shot to go, but he will get to the line. Grace now did a nice job keeping Reed behind him and making sure his body contact came in, into him. Cut him off. Got in front of him. Nice play by Grayson Allen. He's back at the line where he hit his first two earlier tonight. He's got 15 points, six rebounds on the night. And Allen taking his time. Bends his knees, shoots the first free throw, and hits that one. He is still on top of the NBA, 47%. Three-point shooting this season. And tonight, three for five will not hurt that cause. Not at all. Suns is a team, six out of 15 from beyond the arc and that is because they've missed their last few Allen's second free throw also good and that takes the lead back to 18 68 to 50 620 to go and Grayson leading all scores with 17 here's a lob to Jada McDaniels going baseline he'll put it up and in and that was an athletic finish by Jaden McDaniels he's got six 68 52 the lead 16 as we approach the six minute mark here in the third Booker driving on McDaniels gets fouled going into the paint and it'll be on Jaden McDaniels, his second. No, uh, no, no pick that time. Book just takes him right off the dribble from the uh, from the logo and gets in the paint where Jaden McDaniels wraps him up to slow him down. And Booker coming off another great shooting performance on Wednesday night in a 40-point performance. He hit five of his nine threes tonight. He's missed all three of his threes, but he's doing a lot of other stuff, TK. He's made all five of his free throws. He now has nine points and nine assists. Very talented player, guy that really gets it. 
And I guess, uh, you know, for a superlative, as he hits the second free throw as well, 10 points tonight. So that gives him 102 in his last three games. Remember, he had 92 back to back with the 52, followed by a 40. Here's Conley on the right wing for Edwards, driving, stops at the right elbow, back out to Conley for three. He got that one to go. Mike Conley able to hit his first shot from the floor. He had hit a couple free throws, but now has five points on the night. 70 to 55, Suns. T Wolves have hit 8 of 19 from 3. Durant getting a pick from Eubanks, dribbles to the top of the key, then tried to feed Eubanks on the curl. Instead, it's a steal for Alexander Walker. He gives it to Edwards, who travels with it as he got caught up in the air, came down to the ground before he let the ball loose for the pass. And, and the Suns get it. Booker coming from behind to challenge the shot, and Edwards felt it, realized he couldn't shoot it, so had to come down with it. Booker turns it into a walk. Heck of a play getting back on D. Grayson Allen set to inbound. Eric Gordon checking in for Bradley Beal. And he's out there with the starters as Booker crosses into the forecourt. Working left to right. 5.20 to go in the third. Suns by 15. Booker to the baseline. Floater up short. Rebound taken by Gobert. Ahead to Edwards in transition. Now Conley driving on Gordon. Gets all the way under the basket. Gives to Alexander Walker. Now Edwards penetrating through the lane. Gets up to the rim. Misses the runner. Rebound knocked away from him and taken by Durant. Suns with solid defense and Edwards misses a close range shot. Now Allen driving through the paint. He's fouled on his way to the rim by Mike Conley and Grayson Allen's going back to the free throw line. Yeah, Sun's doing a great job turning solid defense into good offense, getting up the floor, outnumbering the Timberwolves. What's that? That gives them uh, let me transition buckets. Still sitting on 13. These will count towards fast break points when Grayson Allen makes them. And that is a very confident color analyst who has seen a lot of free throws put up by this man, Grayson Allen. <laughs> 88% shooter puts the first one up and in making Tim look uh, spot on 2018 28 to 18 points in the paint So that's another indicator of how Sun how the Suns continue to be aggressive even in the half court And they have been uh, better on that front Defensively than they have been in transition this season and specifically as of late as well as Allen gets the second free throw to creep over the rim and drop and he's now six for six from the line he leads all scores with 19 points on the night Suns lead by 17 72 55 450 to go in the third Monte Morris back on the floor feeds Edwards on the right baseline he'll jam it right on top of Eubanks and let out a scream while he was doing so does he realize he's down 15 points I think someone could point up to the scoreboard and he probably see that. Now, that, that that's a difference in today's today's uh, the player. young players yeah it's yeah. now a deflection and a uh, turnover on the Suns Booker got it to go off his foot out of bounds and with 432 to go in the third T Wolves have the ball back down 15 72 57 actually seeing the replay it should have been a taunting foul on him if the official was on the ball Monte Morris bringing it across the timeline with Anderson, Alexander Walker, McDaniels, and Edwards on the floor. Jaden McDaniels driving on Gordon. Fades from 15 and misses. Rebound goes to Kevin Durant. He's got five of those to go with 16 points and five assists on the night. Now he penetrates on Edwards, flips to Booker right wing. Into the right corner, Gordon. He'll drive, then back to Booker with 12 on the shot clock. Still plenty of time. Durant posting up against Edwards. Back to Booker. Work it left side, and a pass from Allen is knocked loose by Anderson out of bounds. It'll stay with the Sun, still six on the shot clock. Good hands by Kyle Anderson is wide open at the corner. Eric Gordon was awaiting that pass from Grayson Allen. He would have had an open three. Jaden McDaniels is going to get a rest as Nas Reed is back on the floor. Allen inbounding far side. Gets it to Booker. He drives, then feeds Gordon. 20 foot jumper short. Rebound goes to Edwards. And the T Wolves hustle up the floor. We're going to get a foul away from the ball as Booker and Monte Morris were tied up. And Booker gets called for the foul. It's his second. 3.56 to play in the third. And Morris will inbound it midcourt. Gets it to Anderson and gets it back. Now here's Kyle Anderson holding it. 
Back to Monty Morris. Waits for Edwards to come around and pick. Bounce pass back to Morris. They play catch. 13 on the shot clock. Here's Anthony Edwards feeding Anderson. Back over to Morris. He's going to shoot another three. That one's no good. Long rebound taken by Eric Gordon on the baseline. Grayson Allen was all alone up in the forecourt, but Durant didn't see him. Instead, he gives to Booker left wing. Around a pick from Eubanks. Gordon gets oh. it right wing, trying to feed Eubanks in the lane. It's too high, out of bounds, and another turnover for the Suns. Yeah, just a little bit too much on it and behind him. His eyes got big when he saw the cut by uh, Drew Eubanks there. That's the 15th turnover on the night for Phoenix. Now bounce pass from Edwards goes through his legs out of bounds Anderson just threw it a little low and Anthony Edwards took his eyes off of it So that is turnover number 17 for the Wolves Yeah, and the, the, the Suns the turnovers there They're they're taking possessions away from themselves not giving up many points the other way only 10 But giving up uh, opportunities when you're shooting 47 percent overall 40 percent from behind the arc now Kyle Anderson called for a reach in foul on Grayson Allen and I think that's going to send Grayson to the line because they're in the bonus. So Allen has done a lot of the damage from the line. He's six for six on the night at the stripe. He's going to get two more here. And the Suns already up by 15 looking to add on to that 72 57 with 311 to go quarter number three and the first one's good for Grayson Allen. We'll have one more and again Allen when he was brought over here in September along with Yusuf Nurkic and Sear Little Keon Johnson in that big trade between three different teams involved the Suns the Blazers and the Bucks who Grayson Allen spent last season with second free throw rims out no good that's his first miss He's seven out of eight 20 points for Allen to lead all scores Suns by 16 and now we're gonna get another foul called and it's gonna be on the Suns I believe Devin Booker just picked up his third foul. That is the case. But that is number four on Phoenix, so no free throws for Minnesota. Here comes Royce O'Neal replacing Grayson Allen. We'll get a well-deserved rest with 20 points, six rebounds, a couple steals on the night. Anthony Edwards gets the inbounds pass and gives to Anderson right wing. He's got Eubanks defending with eight on the shot clock. Kyle Anderson on the drive gets into Kevin Durant's chest. Turns, shoots a right hand hook shot. No good. Rebound put back up. No good for Nas Reed. Durant has it into the forecourt for Eubanks. He gets bumped and fouled by Anthony Edwards as he takes it into the paint. And Drew Eubanks is going to get to the free throw line. Yeah, nice run by Drew Eubanks when he saw Nas Reed go down on the floor. He took off going up the other end and this also gets him to the free throw line. Eubanks definitely can move up he and down the floor. Pretty darn good athlete. And he is now going to get to the line where he's one for two so far tonight. Ben shoots and hits the first. Former Oregon State Beaver in his sixth season in the NBA. And native of Oregon, Troutdale is his hometown. He has one more free throw coming, and he got that too. Three points for Eubanks off the bench on three of four from the line. And with 2.40 to go in the third, Suns back up 18, 75-57, as they continue to stay in control tonight against the top team in the Western Conference, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards on the dribble, top of the arc, drives past O'Neal, throws a pass right corner. It goes to Alexander Walker. His three is short, but Edwards there for the putback. That one's short as well, and Royce O'Neal comes away with it. Up to Booker. He hesitates on the right wing. Maybe got away with a carry there against Nas Reed. Booker brings it out beyond the arc. He lulls Reed to sleep, shoots the three, and missed off the back iron. Not taken by Alexander Walker. Books now 0 for 4 from deep. He's 2 for 10 from the floor. And now defending Nas Reed, who turns, shoots over him, and misses with the left hand yeah, hook. Book does a nice job holding his ground. And Nas turn around, left handed shot, comes up short. Nice play by Devin. 150 to go in the third. Suns by 18. 75 57. Booker dribbling left side. Gives to Gordon. Then posts up and gets it back against Morris. Drives into the left elbow. Jumper up. No. Off the back rim. Reed has it for the T Wolves. Ahead to Alexander Walker. Now Nas Reed driving past Eubanks. Goes to the rim. Blocked from behind by Drew, who caught up and rejected him at the rim. Booker brings it up the right wing on offense now. Looking for Durant. Baseline. Gives it to him. Fades from 15. In and out. And back in again Kevin Durant got the shooters roll he's seven for 11 on the night 18 points for KD and the Suns are back up 20. Drew Eubanks times the shot of Nas Reed 
again another run out the Suns move the ball and get a nice shot in the half court started by that defense Edwards spinning on Durant fading from six missed it strong rebound taken by Alexander Walker from two Suns he was in between Eubanks and Booker and somehow got it and then drew the foul on Eubanks Suns doing a nice job controlling this game uh, tonight First foul on Drew Eubanks, by the way. And this is going to be Nikhil Alexander Walker to the free throw line. For the first time tonight, he got it heated up in the first half, hitting three threes off the bench. And has since missed three shots, but makes the free throw. Ten points off the bench for Alexander Walker, who's averaging 7.7 .7 per game this season. His sixth out of Virginia Tech. Signed as a free agent in July. After being acquired with Mike Conley by the Utah Jazz in a trade last year in February. And now hits the free throw to cut the Suns lead to 18. 77 59 with 55 seconds to go in the third. Beal gets it into the forecourt with a left hand dribble and feeds O'Neal at the top of the arc. He gets it to Eubanks against Nas Reed, looking for Booker underneath instead. Hands it to Beal. Seven on the shot clock. Left side, it's O'Neal against Kyle Anderson. He puts it on the deck. He's going to fade, try a three, and miss it, but it goes right to Booker. He grabs the loose ball and then gets the pass deflected and stolen by Edwards. He'll shoot a three in transition and miss it short. Rebound by Eubanks. Suns push the pace the other way. 25 seconds to play in the third. And a difference of four seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Booker holding just inside the timeline. Ten seconds to shoot. O'Neal sets the screen. Booker puts it on the deck with the left hand. Down to five. Crosses over. Feeds O'Neal. He penetrates around Anderson. Left hand runner blocked by Reed. Here come the T-Wolves in transition with three seconds left. It's Monte Morris laying it up and in with 1.3 to go. And that makes it a 16-point Suns lead. Booker takes his time. Inbounds it to Bradley Beal. And he will not get the three quarter court shot off in time at the end of three it's the suns by 16 77 61 we're back for fourth quarter action live from footprint center next suns fans get in on the action with van duel america's number one sports book download the app now for your chance to score on every play from the opening tip off until the final basket and with quick bets you don't even have to wait the whole game to get a w all on an app that's safe secure and super easy to use make every moment more with van duel official sports book partner of the phoenix suns 21 plus and present in arizona gambling problem call 1-800 next step or text next step to 5334 Two. Body at Durant. Keldon Johnson. It takes 17,071 Suns fans to sell out Footprint Center every Suns game. Be a part of the moment. Be here as your Suns take on the Pelicans. Sunday, April 7th at 3 p.m. Featuring a special appearance by Go, the Gorilla, and all his closest friends. Secure your seats today at suns.com slash ticks. Hey, it's Vince Murata, arena announcer for the Phoenix Suns, here to tell you about Revitalized Weight Loss and Wellness, Arizona's number one holistic solution to long-term weight loss. Revitalize relies on cutting-edge technology to remove the guesswork about which foods are best for your body to lose weight and optimize your metabolism to keep those pounds off. Revitalize is a proud partner of the Suns and has helped thousands in the Valley to lose weight. Get your initial body composition and metabolic age analysis for free when you schedule and tell Revitalize the Phoenix Suns sent you. Just go to joinrevitalize.com. Dan Bickley, Vince Morata, Bickley and Morata Mornings. I love this show. This is the greatest show in the history of radio. Ron Wolfley, Luke Lipinski, Wolf and Luke Middays. Don't waste all your best material this early in the show. Boom! Because I want people to keep listening. Dave Burns, John Gambadoro, Burns and Gambo Afternoons. Are you ready for this? All right, let's go. Arizona Sports is the local sports leader and the only place you can watch, read, and listen to Arizona's biggest sports personalities on 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. The home of Phoenix Suns basketball, Arizona Sports 98.7, and the Arizona Sports app. It is time for the fourth quarter here at Footprint Center. John Bloom, Tim Kenton with you, along with Walt Ellis, our engineer. We got Jamal Gumo and Allie producing back inside the studios. 
Happy to have you with us on this Friday night. Suns by 16, and it's time for some game insights. Brought to you by Schwartz Laser Eye Center. Visit TeamIDoc.com and listen to Tim Kempton for your game insights. Yeah, that was a pretty much dismal uh, third quarter for both teams, only scoring 20 points. Suns Sun shot 23%, turned it over eight times. Minnesota shot 30%. They only scored 30. The good news is the Suns had a 16-point lead. So if you if you just match them, you obviously win the game. And that's what they did in that quarter was just matching the Timberwolves in poor play. And they start the fourth on offense with Royce O'Neal, Bradley Beal, Yusuf Nurkic, Bol Bol, and Eric Gordon on the floor. Down to five on the shot clock. Nurkic going to have to hustle. Flips the pass over to O'Neal. He shoots a desperation three. It goes off the rim no good. Out of bounds to the Timberwolves. Yeah, right now the Suns are back on the heels against the aggressiveness of uh, Minnesota's defense. Would love to see them turn, turn it up and start attacking a, a little bit more again. Nas Reed brings it over on the right wing and hands to Alexander Walker. Cross court, it goes to Conley on the left side. Back to Alexander Walker. Penetrates, hangs, flips it up. No. On the right, left-hand runner, and the rebound goes to Nurkic, his 13th of the night. Now Beal into the forecourt. Gives to Nurk at the top of the arc. He holds with the right hand, and we're going to get a whistle and a foul. And there you go. A nice aggressive cut by uh, Bradley Beal. Gets the defender to grab him right in front of the official that was alexander walker the defender that grabbed him his second personal on the night 15 on the shot clock as beal inbounding near side bounces to nurkic and nurk gives it back to bradley beal on the penetration feeds bowl left corner 10 on the shot clock now nurkic at the top of the key five seconds to shoot dribbles then feeds beal he has to get it up, driving left side, floater up, and no good. Rolled off the rim to Monte Morris, who brings it quickly right to left for the T-Wolves. Blows past Nurkic and gives it to Conley. Left side, Walker a three. No. Rebound taken by Monte Morris under the hoop. He took it away from Nurkic. Reed's open for three right side. He got it. As Reed cuts the Suns' lead to 13, 77-64. Down to 10 and a half minutes left to play here at Footprint Center. Bradley Beal holding inside the timeline around a screen from Nurk. Gives it to him, rolling to the basket. Stops at the semicircle. Misses the runner with the right hand. And the rebound taken by Reed. Ahead to Morris in transition. Back to Reed, who drives past Bowl. His pass deflected by Nurk. Stolen by Gordon. That's the second time he's done that tonight. Realizing that Nas Reed is trying to throw a lob over his head. And goes and blocks the pass. Great play by Yusuf Nurkic. Now he's dribbling left wing. Hands it off to Beal. Sets a pick. Ten on the shot clock. Beal to the baseline. Still weaving through traffic. Feeds Nurk underneath. He gives Gobert a shoulder. Then lays it up and in with the right hand. Great play by Bradley Beal. Nice little dump off there. Yes, it was. Beal picks up the assist. Believe it or not, his first of the night. Nurkic, eight points with 13 boards. He's got six assists. Now Walker beats Nurkic into the lane and lays it in with the left hand to cut it back to a 13-point game. 79-66, nine and a half to go. Royce O'Neal dribbling up the left wing. Feeds Nurk at the top of the arc. He gets bumped by Gobert. No whistle. Now Nurk still holding as Gobert's all over him. He feeds Beal, cutting right baseline. Floater up. No. Off the back iron. Beal thought he was fouled. No call. Now Morris. Driving right elbow jumper. No rebound Nurkic grabs another one and that would have been bowls if it didn't go to Yusuf He was ready to grab it 905 left to play Suns have the ball leading by 13 Trying to knock off the Western Conference leading Timberwolves feel dribble drive into the paint wraps around and feeds Nurkic He takes it to the rim puts it up count it and the foul on Gobert the deuce and the damage for Nurkic Yeah, Continue to go at him nice play again by Bradley Beal. He gets uh, Gobert to turn his back Which gives uh, Nurkic the room to get by him and get to the rim and Again Bradley Beal picking up back-to-back -back assists Thanks to Yusuf Nurkic hitting back-to-back -back buckets underneath and finding the range. And now he's going to have a chance to finish off a three-point play. He's already got the double-double. Those shots came in better rhythm. There weren't, weren't a couple of ball fakes and everything else to take him out of his own rhythm. He puts the free throw up and in. That's his first make from the line on three tries. 11 points, 14 boards, six assists, three steals, and a block. Nurkic just doing it all tonight. 82-66. The Suns are up 16 with 8.45 to go. Conley gives to Reed. He's going to shoot another three. That's off the front iron. And guess who grabs another rebound? That's the big fella. Yusuf Nurkic is 15th. 
8.35 to go, and Nurk brings it into the forecourt, hands to Beal, sets a screen for him. Beal drives on Alexander Walker. Now Nurkic spins past Ooh, wow. Gobert, layup off the rim. No, he almost had a highlight reel spin with the lefty. Now Gobert in the lane. He'll jam it with the right hand off a nice feed from Nas Reed. And it's what a move on the other end by Nurkic. Million dollar move, five cent finish. And <laughs> exactly. Now we got a timeout. Frank Vogel. And before we take that time out, let's pause 10 seconds for stations to identify themselves here on the Phoenix Suns Basketball Network. Hey, this is Brian Geltziler. Wake up early with me in 2007 NBA coaching year Sam Mitchell every Saturday morning from 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern as we break down everything NBA on Channel 86. Eight minutes and 13 seconds left to play here in Phoenix. It's the Suns 82, the T-Wolves 68, and we're back after this. Ride to the game in style with Desert Rose Worldwide Transportation, the preferred transportation partner of the beautiful Beautiful Footprint Center. Their premium fleet includes sedans, SUVs, sprinter vans, minibuses, and of course, beautiful stretch limousines. Whether it is a corporate event, special occasion, or a safe and stylish ride to see the suns in action, Desert Rose will make every effort to ensure your ride is memorable. Visit DesertRoseLimos.com and book your ride. In the next 30 seconds. 40 couples will have a baby and realize we need more space. 50 people will get their dream job and need to relocate. In three weeks? And three newlyweds will go from two houses to only one closet? And then comes the realization. We, we gotta, gotta sell, sell the house. house and fix it and stage it and show it. Or skip the hassles and sell directly to Open Door. Close in a matter of days. Get your free offer at opendoor.com slash my offer. Open Door is represented by Open Door Brokerage Inc. License 02061130 in California and Open Door Brokerage LLC in its other markets. March is the month to take the fast lane to Mountain America Credit Union and get a low-rate auto loan. Conquer the road with rates as low as 6.49% APR on new or used vehicles or refinance your current ride. You'll be on your way in no time with the quick and easy online application at macu.com slash auto or visit your nearest Mountain America branch. Terms and conditions apply. Loans on approved credit. Limited time offer. Offer can change or be withdrawn at any time. Offer ends March 31st, 2024. At Fry's Pharmacy, care is what's most convenient for you. Care is being here when you need us by being open evenings and weekends. Care is helping you save more, accepting most insurance plans and discount cards. Care is saving you time by managing your prescriptions online. Care is convenience that works for everyone. Kroger Health and Fry's, a world of care is in store. Learn more at fry'sfood.com slash pharmacy. Services and availability vary by location. Age and other restrictions may apply. For coverage, consult your health insurance company. Visit the pharmacy or our site for details. The Phoenix Suns play here. Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. Oh, for every assist the Phoenix Suns have this season, Chick-fil-A Valley restaurants will donate $25 to the Phoenix Suns Phoenix Mercury Foundation. Feed the ball, feed the valley, and see the impact we're making at suns.com slash valley assists tonight. Making a bunch of impact. 24 assists on the 27 made buckets so far. Suns leading 82-68. We've got 8-13 to play, TK. Yeah, and, and still a little sloppy. Third quarter was not very good, and it's kind of... Come, gone over here to the uh, fourth quarter. Just need to uh, attack the defense because Timberwolves are really trying to be aggressive to get back in this game. Suns bring Devin Booker back on the floor out there with Eubanks, Durant, O'Neal, and Allen. KD gets it left elbow, jumper up, and in for Durant. Same, same play they started the game with, a down screen from uh, Drew Eubanks, and to start the game it was Yusuf Nurkic. But Kevin Durant coming up to that free throw line for a curl jumper. So Durant with 20, equaling Grayson Allen's game high. And now a three from Conley doesn't go. Allen tips it over to Booker. Suns by 16 with the ball. 84-68, 7.35 left to go. And Devin Booker brings it up the floor. Double-double on the night for him. He just got his 11th assist to go with 10 points. Now Durant gives to Eubanks at the right elbow. He takes a couple dribbles and gives it back to KD. Curls to the rim, gets it from Durant. Flips it up and in with the right hand. Good catch and finish. Fumbled it, but stayed with it. Plays it over the front of the rim. Nice play by Drew. Five points for Eubanks, and KD has his sixth assist of the night. Now here's a pass deflected and stolen by Booker. He picks up his third steal. And the Suns as a team have 12 steals on the night tonight. Seven minutes left. They lead by 18. 86-68. Biggest lead of the night has been 21. But they have led wire to wire. Booker dribbling left wing against Alexander Walker. Gets a pick from Eubanks. 
Drives to the right elbow and feeds Durant right wing. He gets to the free throw line, fades, and hits another mid-range beauty. 22 for KD to lead all scores, and the Suns are up 20. Timeout, Minnesota. 6.41 left to play. It's the Suns 88, the T-Wolves 68. When you buy a used vehicle with Ford Blue Advantage, you can be confident in your choice because you'll be choosing from a wide selection of vehicles that have each passed a detailed inspection performed by Ford certified technicians. On top of a test drive, we'll show you the Carfax report with a full vehicle history. We'll even offer you a Ford back warranty. With Ford Blue Advantage, you'll get exactly what you wanted in a used car and all the confidence that comes with it. Ford Blue Advantage, used car buying that's built for you. See your participating Ford dealer for limited warranty details. Every day, helping, caring, supporting. Every day at APS, we're here to help with bill assistance and more when you need it most. We understand everyone's needs are different. That's why you'll find a variety of options that could help. Lower your bill with our energy support program. Qualified customers save up to 25 or 60% every month. Pay down your bill with crisis bill assistance and other programs and resources. Learn how you can get help with your bill at APS.com slash brighter. Hey, Suns fans, get ready for tip-off. Be sure to grab an ice-cold, refreshing Dos Equis lager and make the most of game day with your real ones. Whether you're hanging out at the bar with friends or watching the Suns dominate the paint from the stands, Dos Equis is there for it all. So buy a cold, crisp Dos Equis and raise one with a real one on game day. Dos Equis, proud partner of the Phoenix Suns. Enjoy Dos Equis responsibly. Copyright 2023. Imported by Cervezas Mexicanas. White Plains, New York. First Bank presents the future of business banking technology, human beings. Giving you access to 24-7 customer service, empathy, and someone who actually cares. Additional features include laughing at your jokes, offering you coffee, and a real beating heart. To see a human being for yourself, visit efirstbank.com business or go to a branch to meet one in real life. The technology you need and the humans you want. First Bank. Business banking for good. Member FDIC. The home of Phoenix Suns basketball, Arizona Sports 98.7, and the Arizona Sports app. Well, the Suns continue their final homestand of the regular season Sunday, April 7th. 3 o'clock start for Gorillas mascot madness against the New Orleans Pelicans. Join Go and his mascot friends on Sunday afternoon at Footprint Center. Secure your seats now at suns.com slash ticks. Suns by 20, 88-68. We got 641 left to play here in downtown Phoenix, CK. Starting five in double figures. They got two guys with double doubles. Book with 10 points, 12 assists. Nurk with 11 points and 15 rebounds. Not too bad. And both guys were on the floor. Now it's Eubanks actually has replaced Nurkic on the floor. And Booker's out there with O'Neal, Durant, and Allen. Nas Reed has it on offense for the Timberwolves with six and a half minutes to play. Anderson feeds McLaughlin, and we're going to get a foul on the Suns. And go on Durant. That's his fourth. Nurkic. In the biggest trouble, he has five fouls, but he's on the bench right now. And then KD just picking up his fourth. McLaughlin inbounding, gets it to Kyle Anderson. Now on the left wing, Nas Reed. Back to Anderson with 10 on the shot clock. He'll put up a jumper over Eubanks and hit it from the left elbows. Kyle Anderson has his second field goal of the night. Four points off the Wolves bench. It's 88-70, Suns. With 6.15 left to go, Devin Booker's going to bring it into the forecourt against Jaden McDaniels full court press now McDaniels backs out and Edwards takes Booker O'Neal sets the screen Booker dribbles in between the rings around another pick from Eubanks crosses over to his left six seconds to shoot Booker forces up a shot from the left elbow that doesn't go and a foul is called on the far sideline it's going to go on Kyle Anderson say no shots though they said the foul came before Booker attempted his jumper and Kyle Anderson picking up his third personal. Booker set to inbound on the far side. Gets the ball from Brandon Adair, the official, and waits. Still looking. Finally gets it into Grayson Allen and avoids the five-second count. Now with Durant posting up against Edwards. Back to Allen, a deep three. Around the rim, no good. And Nas Reed grabs the board. Suns have missed their last seven three-pointers on the night. They were 6-12 at 50%. Now 6-19. Reed answers with a missed three of his own on the other end for the T-Wolves. And they're 9-26 from deep. 
Booker into the four court. Suns grab the ball. Five and a half minutes left, leading by 18. Booker dribbling against McDaniels. Backs up left side and then gives it to O'Neal between the rings. He gets it back. Six on the shot clock as he dribbles right wing. Cross court O'Neal. Fakes McDaniels off his feet. Shoots the three and hits it. Royce O'Neal with that beautiful up fake. He got it to go from downtown and the Suns are up 21. Royce O'Neal's first points of the night. And it comes with five minutes left to play and equals the Suns' biggest lead. Now Kyle Anderson hesitating against Eubanks. Fades and hits again from 14 feet away. Anderson with back-to-back mid-range jumpers. He's got six off the Minnesota bench. And it's 91-72 Suns with 4.50 to go. Booker dribbling just inside the timeline. Double team, bounces to O'Neal on the logo, and then gets reached out and grabbed and fouled by Kyle Anderson right in front of Sean Corbin. Yeah, no doubt about that one. Put two hands around him. Corbin was right there to blow the whistle. So well, Anderson looks a little gassed right now. He does. Now, some may say he always looks gassed because he plays <laughs> in slow motion. That's why they call him slow motion. Slow -mo. Booker inbounding. Gets it to Allen on the right wing and gets it back. Still 10 on the shot clock as Book picks up his dribble. Still looking for help. Bob to Durant. Double team comes. Gets out of it. Rotated around the perimeter. O'Neal penetrating with three on the shot clock. Cross court Durant's got to get a shot off. He does. It goes off the backboard. Hits the rim. And the rebound knocked loose to Allen who's open for three. He can't get it. Ball gets hit out of bounds. And last touch by Royce O'Neal. Minnesota basketball with 4.22 to go. 91-72, Phoenix on top. And New Orleans coming to town next. That is a 3 o'clock start Sunday afternoon right here at Footprint Center. Here's Edwards, a three on the left wing. No good. Tried to draw the foul and didn't get the whistle. Rebound taken by Booker. Ahead to a streaking O'Neal. He swings right wing to Grayson Allen. Booker now, deep three. Is up and in for Devin Booker. That was from way downtown. And it gives the Suns their biggest lead of the night. Timeout, Minnesota. 4-0-2 to play. It's the Suns 94, the T-Wolves 72, and we're back after these messages. In the next 30 seconds, one sweltering beach bum will decide it's just too hot and want to move somewhere milder. And as he's dreaming of a brisk outdoor jog, cracking open a window, and the comfort of throwing on a light layer, he'll realize I've got to sell the house and fix it and stage it and show it. Or skip the hassles, sell directly to Open Door, and move on to the things that matter, like that cool breeze. Get your competitive offer at opendoor.com slash new move. Eligibility and offer price may vary. Open Door is represented by Open Door Brokerage Inc. License 02061130 in California and Open Door Brokerage LLC in its other market. Catch over 70 live game broadcasts, alternate broadcast streams, and original content with Suns Live, the all-new streaming platform now available to fans across Arizona. Watch the way you want on your computer, mobile web, and connected devices. That is magical. Subscriptions cost just $14.99 per month. Sign up today at live.suns.com. The Phoenix Suns play here. Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. 4.02 left to play here in Footprint Center. It's the Suns 94 and the Timberwolves 72. And don't forget, thanks to PayPal, you can score 25% off your order at shop.suns.com. Simply check out using PayPal. Add the promo code PayPal25 to redeem. Max $1,000 per order. And terms apply. Devin Booker just knocking down his first three of the night and gave the Suns the 22-point lead. So Frank Vogel has gone to his bench and is going to bring Nasir Little, Josh Kogi, and Yudoka Azubuki out onto the floor along with Grayson Allen and Royce O'Neal. Timberwolves also countering with Wendell Moore Jr. along with Josh Minuck and T.J. Warren. Tony Buckets back here in the Valley, playing with the T-Wolves now. He's played in 13 games for them this season. Luca Garza has it on offense for the Wolves. Backing down on Azabuki. Right-hand hook shot doesn't go. And Josh Okogi is there for the rebound. They'll bring it into the forecourt, wearing some super bright fluorescent green kicks tonight. Azabuki in the lane, feeds Little. Right corner three on the way, short. And the rebound goes to the Timberwolves. So again, Suns looking to pick up the third straight win over the T-Wolves in the series. As here's a driving runner by 
Manak doesn't go. Rebound taken. And a runner is up and in for Miller. Leonard Miller, the rookie out of the G League Ignite program, able to knock down his first shot. And it's 94-74. Suns by 20. So we hit the three-minute mark here in the fourth. Grayson Allen dribbling in between the circles. He gets open for three, shoots it, and hits it. Allen's fourth make on eight tries from downtown. He's got 23 points to lead all scorers. Yeah, that was a foul by Royce. He and uh, Grace now come back and Thad Young and Isaiah Thomas coming on the floor. Solid night for the starting five of the Suns. Absolutely. Great, great balance. 23, 22, 11, 14, 13. 13 assists from Devin Booker, 29 as a team. 15 rebounds from Nurk, 47 as a squad. Grayson Allen leaves. Six of 14 from the floor, 23 points to lead all scorers. This now three-pointer goes for Josh Minot, and he has his first three points off the bench. Second-year pro out of Memphis. Here's Thaddeus Young on the right wing, handing it off to Isaiah Thomas with 225 left to play. Pass deflected out of bounds. Stays with the Suns, 12 on the shot clock. 97-77, Suns on top. And how about Minnesota? Two trips to Phoenix and two big-time losses handed to them by the Suns. Now they'll play for the third and final time in the season finale. And that is a week from Sunday in Minneapolis. Here's Isaiah Thomas driving through the lane. Spins, then feeds a Kogi on the left wing. 12 on the shot clock. He gives it to Little right side. Penetrates around Miller, hangs, and floats one up short. Leonard Miller grabs the rebound for the Wolves, and they'll bring it into the forecourt. Down by 20 with 2.15 to go. Miller hands it off to Moore. Now Garza open for three. That's no good. Rebound taken by Little. Oh, here comes another steal into the forecourt. A driving layup is up and in by T.J. Warren. So there is the former Phoenix Suns. Guy we affectionately call Tony Buckets, and that's what he does. He gets you buckets when he's on the floor. Isaiah Thomas is another guy that can do that. He gives it to Little on the right wing. Pass knocked away, out of bounds. It'll stay with the Suns. Still 13 on the shot clock, and a minute 50 left to play with an 18-point lead, 97-79. Isaiah Thomas hits the inbounds pass. Gets it poked away from behind. Goes out of bounds off of the Wolves with nine on the shot clock. And the Suns will keep it. And again, it'll be Josh Akogi to inbound. He's out there with Azabuki, Young, Thomas, and Little. Akogi gets Thomas the ball in the right corner. He fades for three. No. Rebound tipped up and knocked loose. T.J. Warren gets it ahead in transition. The layup goes for Moore. And Del Moore Jr., his first bucket from a Duke Blue Devil. 97-71, Suns by 16 as Thaddeus Young has it on the left baseline. Finds Isaiah Thomas at the elbow. He backs up beyond the arc against Leonard Miller. Ten on the shot clock. Thomas up fake. Got Miller to leave his feet, but then fed little on the right wing. He gets into the paint and gives to Thad Young left corner. Out to Akogi. Drives and tried to feed Azabuki underneath. It goes out of bounds. Yeah, just a little, uh, little out of kilter right now. These guys have been sitting over on the bench for the last three hours trying to come out here get a sweat going and make the right play tj warren on the dribble drive feeding miller left corner he spins on a kogi hangs and then gives to garza his runner goes off the window no good thaddeus young has it for the suns the kogi pushing the pace lobbed to azabuki in transition good catch by yudoka then he turns on garza still dribbling backs up left hand hook shot no good but a foul called on garza that was a good catch Doka Azabuki running the floor, caught that deep underneath the basket. And again, Yudoka's come off the bench for the Suns here tonight to play in his 16th game of the season. And that is less than half of what he appeared in last year with the Utah Jazz. So he's had to make that adjustment. And his first free throw is short. Azabuki had a couple of really solid appearances earlier in the season when he was called on. Yeah, for, for a minute there, Frank was going to him. They had a Drew off the bench. He was playing back up behind Nurk for a minute. And this is both free throws here, so can't get in the scoring column. 45 seconds left, and the T-Wolves had it down 16. Leonard Miller, pull-up 20-footer, is up and good on the left side. 
And Miller has his second field goal off the bench. It's 97-83 with 35 seconds to go. Isaiah Thomas into the forecourt. Crosses over and dribbles to the left baseline. Cross court, it goes to Little. He'll try a three. That's off the backboard, no good. Now to 20 seconds left, and the T-Wolves bring it quickly into the forecourt. Garza driving, shooting and hitting, and the foul. A chance at a three-point play for Luca Garza, who's going to be excited to hear some news if he hasn't already that his alma mater, the Iowa Hawkeyes, knocked off the Yukon Huskies in the women's Final Four tonight and are headed to the championship game to take on the undefeated South Carolina Gamecock ladies. So congrats to South Carolina and Iowa for moving on to the finals and of course we've got the final four men's style starting tomorrow across town in Glendale that's gonna be really exciting with North Carolina State UConn Purdue and Alabama the four teams and I said them out of order it's UConn Alabama Purdue North Carolina State in the matchups here's TJ Warren a jumper right baseline that goes and this is gonna look a little better than it was yeah, for the it Timberwolves sure they, they've been stuck on 97 for a while now 97 87 the score 10 seconds left isaiah thomas is going to dribble it into the forecourt and dribble the rest of the clock out and the suns are going to win final score 97 87 here at footprint center the suns win